All right, everyone. I don't know if you heard that, but Musket just called last friendly, so we're going to get the tournament started very soon. Thank you for tuning in so far. Shout out to everyone in chat right now. If you're here, say hi. Also, let us know if the... We'll get to it when the match actually starts, but definitely just let us know how the audio is when we get started. Now, let's quickly shout out everyone chilling. Koi Boy, Lax, Mash, Mr. Snake, Pinky, SSB, Rebebebe, thank you for stopping by. Shout out to the couple followers that we got, Four Gathers and DY Miner. Thank you. So we're going to be getting a match on stream very, very soon. Mike is perfect. Awesome. It, it We'll have a better idea once the match actually starts. Yeah, hop the fuck on. Are you entering? No. Oh. I've been busy with Andy, man. I've been playing oh. Dawson, and I've been playing Strive. So. Oh, you've been playing Strive? Yeah. What's up? Game is mad easy, but a lot of fun. <laughs> Hello, stream. What's, What's up? On? We're about to get started. Yeah, I'm keen. This is the best turnout for a tournament I've seen in a long time. Yeah, literally in like a year, bro. It's so good. I'm super fucking keen. I'm so excited we've to got, play. We've got Devin. And I haven't warmed up all day. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, of course not. I've been running shit. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, that's life of a TO, boy. <laughs> TO life, boy. <laughs> it is what it is. Like, I'm not complaining. That's just how it goes on the day. Yeah. Just how it be, guys. Sometimes you can't control these things. Have you ever tried to play Melee with a mask and glasses on? Oh, not with glasses on, no. That sounds like Bro, horror. they fog up so much. You have to wear them like right on the bridge of your nose and Sheesh. like look like this. It's fucking horrible, dude. Sheesh. It's impossible to see. But oh man, I'm so keen for this twenty. This is great. This is such a good turnout. We've got we got yeah, Davin. Gonna... We've got Muscat. Yeah, check the check the bracket in chat by the way, guys. The bracket. Boo -boo is Haven, brilliant. Thank you for following. So let's have a look at the bracket we've got going here. We do have it up. So, in the bracket today, we have Milo, Will D, Musket, Kaiser, Vivi, Catherine, Tishlord, Lemons, Coffee Rex, McLeod, Nangs, Oscar, Scrattles, and Taco. Do you know how many people that is? That's amazing. Do you that know is how, amazing. That is so many people. That's literally so many people we've gotten for Melee for the first time in a long time, guys. So, I really appreciate everyone who came out today. Like, super hardcore. Um, so... What's that? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 14. player bracket in oh South Australia, God. baby. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm so happy with that. Very, very pleased. But enough about that. The tournament's going to be starting. Do we, have a, do we have a match on stream yet, Musket? Who? Will and Milo. Will and Milo? Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I literally... <laughs> That's actually crazy. Are yeah, we Brad's an here. Another puff that's ostracized himself from society by playing. Shout out character. to Milo for showing up. I miss that dude. Hey! I don't know who he's gonna play. I don't know if he's gonna play puff or if he's gonna play fox. I saw him playing Ma on the friendly setup. Oh my lord! Well, anyway, oh, I have to set this up. Yeah, Milo being here is actually crazy, crazy. Um, okay, I have to just quickly adjust some things here. Nice, and I'll just adjust the camera on the stage. One second, gang. Milo Pog, yeah, exactly. I've heard so much. I'm so keen. This is going to be great. Versing none other than Will D, Will Down Smash, so... It's a winning bracket, guys. 14 players. I mean, SA's reviving. This is the second coming. Get keen. I think this stream's going to be really close, actually, in terms of the bracket. We're going to have... I don't know, we've got all the big hitters from SA here. We've got Devin, we've got Kai, Muscat, McLeod, who's been grinding like hell this year. I mean, Ready? there was ever a time. <laughs> Let me just... There we go. Oh. 
Oh, Miley's on Mars. Like a little picture that goes like, oh, oh my god, the dunks! Just oh, like that! It's starting big. Just like that, bro. I saw him getting some peak practice before the tiny with Catherine. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no. Well, well that, that's not the greatest way to lose a stock, but it's okay. My Liz. Oh. Oh. Need a re just okay. resetting the controller. Will being a good sport and making sure that Miley's ready. It's all good. We're all friends here. It's all good. What's that old uh, Kapu BG boot camp? When uh, the like, guy's controller is connected, so he paused for him. And oh, he's like, Bro, you paused. It was, so it was Fortune DG. versus... Um, uh, I forgot the Fox player's name. Like SG or something? Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, but I remember it. I, yeah. I do remember it. And it was <laughs> it was the worst thing I've ever watched. It's the scummiest, scummiest. Dude, it gives Puff players a bad name. I think the guy was playing Puff. So. Yeah, he was. Fortune was playing Puff. Yeah. His, yeah, his controller messed up, and then SG, like the Fox, paused the game. So he could fix his controller. So that the other guy could fix the controller and plug it back in. And then he was like, oh, you paused, bro. Give me the stock. And it's like, no, it doesn't work like that, actually. It's ridiculous. But enough about that. Let's get uh, let's get to some fun stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see that uh, really good perfect shield that he did earlier? Like, completely stuffed out. Or decent approach. Didn't quite see it, like, as it happened, but I'm sure it was great. Oh, no. Oh, what? Wait. Chill, 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 chill. We're seeing earlier Catherine was getting Milo with a lot of uh, float cancel up airs. Like, a lot of them. So, let's see if we'll put that in. It does a lot of work now. That move is deceptively strong. Melody, nice. we're all McLeod enjoyers. If you don't enjoy McLeod, I don't know, man. Love McLeod. He's so Ooh. hardcore. He He's is. such a He's hardcore been grinding. Gamer. He's been grinding so hard. It's inspirational. McLeod Pog, yeah. <laughs> McLeod Pog. So, what do you think about this matchup? Um, it's not good for, for Peach, I'll say that much. No, it definitely isn't. It is oh my really, God. really hard for Peach. Peach has some shit, but Martha is just way more. Yeah, Martha's I think if you're Martha, you're a bit set for pace. Yeah, it's, it's tough. What about you? Like, do you think you think it's possible? Like, for it, Peach? Yeah. Yeah, totally. It's just that um, the game exists in two states. Uh, one, when you have a turn up, and two, when you don't have a turn up. Because you literally need to be like... Not actually knitting the Peach technique, but you do actually have to be pulling a lot of turnips in order to compete in this matchup. Just so that Mart doesn't have like all of the stage to move on. Yeah. Um, and if he gets to do that, then he's just going to be his success chance. But that's going to be the first game in Milo. One and zero. Oh. Damn. Hardcore way to start, actually. Uh. Chat, does the does that audio sound good with masks on, or is it? Yeah, I think a bit the, stuffy. Yeah, we'll definitely be getting a bit more of a you know a the muffled, muffled voice, yeah. right? But on the plus side, it acts as a pop filter, so we don't have people like blowing yeah. up the ears. <laughs> so it's not all bad. Take wins where we can get them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
But no, I've been uh, I haven't been playing as much melee, but I've been watching a lot. I've been watching more than I have in a while, and it's exciting, man. I just you know, it's hard to uh, hard to play this game and improve at it uh, while doing other things in life, like uni or school or something. Like yeah, that. agreed, dude. I feel like it's like a tax on my free time. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, Doesn't sound like, muffled at all. That's Brilliant. awesome. That, that, that means really I've good. done my job mixing it well. Because what I've done is just like taken out the, the low end a little bit. So it doesn't sound like the low end should be like more than it usually is. Yeah, we're actually uh, playing this from a submarine. So. <laughs> Live from the Marianas Trench. <laughs> oh, looks like we got an angler, angler fish yeah, coming out now. Bad Marsh Riders. Nice. Oh, there it goes. Just a nice call out. There's not much uh, Peach can do in that. not getting any turnips out. It's just so threatening because, like, it, I think Marley's just looking at him and as soon as he's going to do that uh, turn of pulling animation, he's just going to jump in. All right, guys, I'm going to be popping off commentary. I've got my match to play, but the boy is going to hold it down on comps for the time being and we might have someone else joining in. I'll hold it down. Stay tuned. Please bear with me, chat. Oh, did you get Mr. Satin? <laughs> Bro, he's just walking around. He's not going away. He's still there! Dude, I've not seen Mr. Satin in play for this long. Is he gonna pick him up? No. He's still alive. <laughs> Here we go, big edge guard. Not gonna get much off of it. Whiffs the forward smash. He's just, he's really struggling with Martharitis in this, this matchup, man. I don't know if it's something about the way that Will's getting back to state. As I say, that he gets killed, but. Footsies. He's just going to keep up here, up, uh, up to him on that top platform. There's not much he's going to be able to do about it. Big down smash. Chip damage until tip effect kills. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and it catches out Peach a lot, but if you give her too much time, she just gets a lot of the stage with uh, turnips. So it's about pushing her enough where she can't just spam turnips on you. Turnips on you. But then also getting in for the fair. See, oh no! Oh, he lives. Okay. Oh, he gets the up air behind him. It's gonna take it. No wonder. If Will is going to have a hard time killing him. He's just going to keep, play keep away. Down, yeah. He's living. Yeah, he's good. Never mind. <laughs> and second Mr. Satin. He's showing up a lot. He's a fan favorite. And there it goes. Uh, good games to Milo and Will D. Milo taking it. Love to see it. Now, let's see who we've got next. He is really cute. It's good to see Milo back again. I haven't seen him for a while. Next up, oh, I think we have the man, the myth, the legend himself, Nangs. Imagine two settings and zero dot eyes. Yeah, that's just the way the melee cookie crumbles sometimes. But we've got a, a really special game for you now. We have Nangs. Versus... Is that Brad? Oh! He's here.
Alright, this is going to be a good game. Love seeing Brad and Nagus play. So. Here we go, starting off strong. We're going to F uh, Phantom Dreams. It's a weird stage, but I'm sure I feel about it. Brad's got his Japanese name on, so immediate advantage. He's going to get the edge guard. Nope. He's playing. Oh, no, you hate to see it. Is he going to make it back? Oh, <laughs> he made it back. Oh, my God. He's too stylish. He's just too strong. Let's see if he's able to edge guard him on. There. Yeah, Red's in trouble. Yep, that's going to be out. He's going to get a charge shot. And it's so dangerous to approach Samus on shield as well, because she's just going to get rammed by her up there. Let's see if we're able to get an edge cut off of this. With the shine. He's back on stage, though. Oh, he couldn't get the up smash off. You saw him try to go for it, but he just got hit with up there instead. Charge shot. Nope. Up, there we go. So let's go. Brad's a strong. There it goes. Dice sitting. Yeah, Nanks is about to stock up now. He's doing pretty well. He's got a charge shot. He's playing this stage really well, but he's getting carried. Dude, the Brad carry. Just na 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 na. It's not going to kill. Oh, he gets hit by the dare. Oh, this is so scary. Oh, the charge shot whip. Oh. This is still totally winnable for Brad. He's going to get this edge guard. He just gets ran by that. That's happened so much. He thinks he's going to be able to get an up smash, but he just gets hit by Samus up there. See? Oh! He's getting stuffed out. Samus snare is kind of like a Luigi's. I don't know if it stuffs out quite as much, but... It is really hard to play him too. Go bear. So risky, that's probably gonna be it. Yeah. Playing really solid. <laughs> See, they're going to FD. Oh my god. This is Fox Suicide. Dude, this is two patient gamers at their best. Everybody loves the patient game. Brad's not giving up stage control at all. Oh, but what's he gonna eat for that? Man, man. up till won't die, but it took a lot of percent for that. He's not gonna be able to catch him anymore. up there. Oh, he almost hit the bomb. It's not going to kill, but it's going to be hard to get back against that. Lifts the up tilt, hits the F smash. Oh, you hate to see it. Fred's mental condition may just be too strong. Let's see. And his patience. Screw attack doesn't hit that time. It does that time, though. He gets back on the stage. Oh, 
Oh, that was huge. I know that combo. But he didn't take up any stage control with that. He sort of charged up another one. So maybe he's feeling confident he's going to be able to take this stock. No. The up is going to kill. Nah. It's not going to be able to make that. I don't know if that was a DI issue or whatever, but... the stage or what but... there he goes there's no way Samus comes back from that so still totally doable for Brad all he needs to do is really hammer into him control the middle of the stage also check out the bracket we've got loads of players loads of good players some uh, SA Smash personalities if you would this is uh this is really shaping out to be a great tournament. Appreciate everyone watching. Oh, he stuffed out the up B that time. Is that because of the shine invincibility? Probably. Oh huge! Oh my god. Let's go, Brad. <laughs> Let's go, Brad. Isn't Brad SSPM the other Brad? Uh, is Brad SSPM the other Brad code? It is? God damn it, dude. We got so many Brad. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. That's GG's anyway. Thanks for pointing it out, though. All right, good stuff from both of them. I think Brad played really well. It's just kind of hard to go up against Samus on FD. All right, who's up next? Kai v. Catherine? Ah, oh, it's exciting. Wrong tag, play it again. Dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying my best out here. I'm dying. Look, I'll get it right this time. And, uh... Hopefully, forgive me. So we have Kai v. Catherine, Falco v. Peach. Uh, regardless of how you feel about this matchup, two really good players, been grinding it out a lot this year. Kai is already BMing. Uh, you'd love to see it. Good matchup? I'm glad you think so. We need more Peach Love. We have some players here with uh, Smash Boxes and Hit Boxes here today, which is phenomenal. I don't know. Haven't seen one of those for a very long time. Uh, hopefully we get to see it on 20. That'd be really, really interesting. As I said before, check out the bracket. Uh, you'll see somebody that you like, surely. And we've got I think Davin's playing his first tournament in a while. I believe he's here. The whiz robe sip. Gives you an extra 0.5% on every hit. True story. Alright, they're going to Yoshi's game one. Catherine's been really putting in a lot of work this year to get good. And oh, yeah, <laughs> all it takes is one mashing the C stick down. Down goes the first stock. I think this is going to be a really quick match. I think Kai's a really, really quick player. If you don't catch him out, 
That almost killed. Man catching out early. He just is so overwhelmed. He's, he's doing the mango. Game count, by the way. Oh, thank you. If I make any other fuck ups, just let me know. Big dare, no wall check. Just gonna go down for that. Stalling on the ledge. If I can still make it back here. Yep, it's the. Oh, dot eyes. It doesn't do enough though. Oh, <laughs> he almost did it. The shine light is so scary. Okay, that's gonna be the first stock for Catherine. Fifty-two percent, two stocks to three. Still definitely has a shot. Can't, can't be doing that on uh, Yoshi's, unfortunately. Oh, shield break. Unbelievable. Look high pressure. Wow. I can't believe he got out of that. That's crazy. He must have just barely had invincibility on it. I want to see how much what Kai can do while being 100% against Peach. Because it is super demoralizing to get owned by someone when you're on last stock. There we go. He got 37%. It's a lot. Especially on Yoshi's. Catches him out again. Hits him with the down smash. I was expecting dash attack. Yep. Up. Oh. Oh. Text on the platform. Not going to get much off of it. Wow. Kai's playing so well on these projectiles right now. And that's going to do it. So quick. Such a quick stage. Where are they going to go now? Battlefield maybe? F oh, maybe Pokemon Stadium. Actually, I think the it's frozen. They're going Battlefield, okay. There you go. I know mean, Catherine's a fan of frozen Pokemon Stadium. Oh. Just can't get that on shield pressure. Ah, wow. This is way different from last game. Huge lead right off the start. It's a little less enclosed, so Kai's gonna play. Maybe a little more reserved. <laughs> he just gets hit by two down smashes while jumping into it. We have none other than the McLeod joining us. Pardon? Other than Fox McLeod. Other than Fox McLeod. Yeah, he's everywhere. <laughs> we, we can't get rid of that That's guy. Too much <laughs> That's a very familiar matchup. Yeah. Right here with Seen it a lot. I thought uh, that Yoshi's pick game one was a little interesting. Wait, what do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, she went to Yoshi's. <laughs> well, she can't go back. Oh, she can go back. But Kai can't go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe it's just big brain. It's just big brain. It's 200 IQ, secretly. Yeah, I always get confused with. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Nello and I always get oh my god this mask. I it's always get horrible, so confused with um, Cath like what game Cath is. If there wasn't like, a game counter, I would just like assume Cath won every game because of the stages she picks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like damn Yoshi's then battlefield. Cath's popping off. Oh. <laughs> Cath has been like, Jesus. Cath oh, is man. owning right now. Cath has been looking a little bit better in that up. Has she been playing against many Falcos? Or? Oh yeah, she has. She's gone. She's been getting into that way, so she's yeah. getting more and more familiar. That was a shine in she was But yeah, like the last oh. like four or five sets have been like getting progressively more even between these two. Let's mm. see if Cat cracked the bird. I believe not. That dash attack on shield. I'm surprised she didn't get shine for that. Yeah, it's weird. I do that a lot, and I just don't get punished all the time. Really? Right. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't. Jump cancel shine should uh, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll, ru it'll ruin. Like, they're just like, nah, I'm just like, you could just dash like my shield. I'm just gonna jump away. I'm like, cool. I think it's like partially conditioning because people are so scared. Oh my god, he went straight. Let's go, Kath. Woo! 
Yeah, I think people just don't think I'm going to do it, though. You're yeah. not going to do it. You're not dumb, and then I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's like using rollout, man. Nobody expects you to use rollout. So. Oh, she got wow, the vortex. Big oh, bit. didn't down it, though. She's living. Get, she's going to get back to the stage fine. This is scary, though. No up air from uh, from Ty. We'll up air Cat doesn't kill. Defense, not the best. Random fair coming down. Kai's edge guarding also not the best. So we could see uh, the battle of the um, the blunt object versus the yeah. broken wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the battle of the hammers because everything looks like a nail. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually going to start using the battle of the blunt object versus the cracked wall. <laughs> If, if, uh, if I have to play Kai, I'll play Daisy to avenge Kath. But Kath might just win. Yeah, she might. She <laughs> oh, she's got the dot eyes. Oh, oh there dead. it goes. Kai jumps wow. into Narnia. Kai's like, what am I doing here? <laughs> that was a lax jump, if ever I've seen one. <laughs> those, are the, those are the jumps I was talking about, lax, by the way, right there. Don't do that. Let's go. Going to game three. This is actually... Yeah, this is the best of three. Yep. So we'll see. We'll see what stage kind of picks. She's going to pick Yoshi's now. Probably Pokemon unless she bans it. Yeah, I, I think Pokemon. Might be, but she might just ban it. So it might be like a Dreamland or a Back to Battlefield. I got a feeling it's Back to Battlefield. You think? Yep. We'll see. Let's see if I... I'm going to go Pokemon Stadium. That's my guess. There's no but way I think, But it's best of three, so Kath is a ban. Uh, yeah. And Yoshi's gone because uh, she won. Maybe Cash just oh, big brain. Yeah. Maybe Cash just loves Battlefield and she like, uh, Fountain? As I, if. I, I agree As if. I agree. Well, I think Fountain's actually really good for Falco. In the matchup. Really? Yeah. I've stopped. I, I really don't like Falco or Fountain anymore. But, I don't know. See, it's the battle of the 400 IQ, so. Also, it could just be FD, but we'll see. Just stuff her out. Kai, Kai was just getting stuck on like weird platforms and like weird full hops, so maybe just a flat stage where you can just play some Here we go, it's Battlefield. Game three, it's tense. Did we have those scores? Yeah, we did. Yep. Excellent. Man, you're on it. Oh, dude, I fucked up before and someone called me out in <laughs> chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were like, that's the wrong Brad. I'm like, how many fucking Brads do we have, man? That's no, just Brad. No, it's Scraddles. Yeah, I know, it's yeah. Scraddles. Oh, we just call him Brad so much. Yeah, like exactly. I forget he has a tag. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, I think Brad's probably the person I do that the most. <laughs> yeah, there's so many Brads. <laughs> this is uh, looking better for Kai. Early days, up there. Spread Eddie, exactly. Yeah, he really is. Oh, I've seen Brad. Is he wearing contacts today or something? What's wrong with that glasses? Cat, I Kai had all of the reads and took none of the initiatives going on. He was like, alright, I'm read you're gonna do this, but I'm not gonna punish it, I'm just gonna stand here. Wow. Kai looking Dude, a little bit shaky. Laces for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But I have to say, early SA games always look shaky. Very, very shaky. And it like cleans up a little bit towards the end of the game, so we'll see. <laughs> you swear, <laughs> yeah. I'm squinting to read that, man. I don't know. It's really hard to play melee with uh, glasses and a mask on. Because your glasses bog up so much. Yeah, I have. I, hate I have it. a lot of sympathy for the glasses. Mask, mask. Well, that was a 206% like, stop. I have to wear them so fucking far down on my nose. Yeah, I feel like there are so many ways to open up Catherine in this matchup. But like, you can, you can do like, I don't know. She shouldn't be living to 206. Oh no, the terrible jump down he gets caught with a dash attack. She handles the power shield, she doesn't know what a power shield is. But it doesn't matter. Oh, the terrible near in. Kind of caught, just caught her out of shield. Like, see, Kath just floats in. Like, no problem. Yeah. Again, 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 again. That's Good DI on the cool. up air, though. Is. I don't know what percent up air from Falco kills on Battlefield, but it seems to be doing nothing. It's very variable. Um. The thing you can do, like that back air, that up air would have killed if you got the other side, because up air sends at like a 70 degree angle or something. Right. So because she DI'd, she, she basically goes ultimate just to the left. Right. Yeah, it, it completely depends. If he, the high air hits it, like if she, if he gets shined on like the top platform and up airs, it kills it like 100 or whatever. Depends where hit, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was almost it. 
This is money. This is money. Oh, uh, it doesn't finish it though. <laughs> I, 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 I can't follow up that. But that was all good sequence. Oh, Kath, another good sequence. Can she do an edge guard? Back air, back air? Nah. Nah. I He's hate gonna get back how to stage, but oh, oh, he does the strong back air. That's the McLeod. There, there it is. She, she floated. actually calls it out. She floated for two Holy years shit. before she got there. I know, right? I never would have called out like. So. <laughs> oh, I would have been like, "He's going to ledge, right?" And then she was like, "Nah, I'm standing here. I know exactly what." You're <laughs> Oh, and he's late. Oh, Kai looking very shaky. Kat's very happy that this is even right now. <laughs> Represent C stick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I wouldn't be surprised. Excellent. Going back. I don't know. Kai's just not doing anything. Yeah. Kai's just getting random dash attack openings, random down smash openings, living forever. Kai just needs to take a little bit of initiative. Like, she was for ages on that shelf. All right, you got the lasers. You got two lasers. Do something with it. You just, just that back air shouldn't work either. That was just like that. That back air was calling out you just being not doing anything, which he was doing a lot of not doing anything. All right, throw, wow. throw. That was a really small option. Yeah. And he, she goes oh. all the way out. Woo! Catherine, the net play Falcons. Wait, this is game three. This, this is, is last game, game three. Yeah. Holy this shit. is last stuff for Kai. I'm still mad. This is Muscat side of the bracket, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Have you played your first game yet? Yeah, I got. I had uh, Lamont. We had a very serious time on that. <laughs> Where, uh, you went Bowser. We were just, we were just talking. Just <laughs> Let's go, Cav. <laughs> be big for Cav. That's uh, very sad. Davin and Nick couldn't make it today. But oh, we'll Davin didn't make it. Yeah, he couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was busy. No. We we'll drag him along to a Friday. But that means Ruben and Davin can't show up at the same time. Until the next year's like. <laughs> I just want all the gamers together so I can beat them. <laughs> it's very kind. <common. laughs> and also that killed game, that so killed so there. Yeah, that because of bad DI. Mm. So she died. Yeah, she he got the DI mix up. Can you SDI it much? Oh, uh, well, not really. Yeah. You can SDI if it's a double hit, but he went for the single. Hit. Yeah. No, this is super tense. I know. Kai's not doing anything. Katz is a patient player. Katz just looks for the, the come down event. This is what I'm saying. I said this earlier. SA is full of patient gamers. It's yeah, why it's really so. It is awful to play Puff against patient gamers because they just. Yeah, I'm, I'm just happy sitting here doing nothing. Really. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's what I love to do because it makes people oh, so angry. Kat, oh, no double jump. Oh, oh she Catherine, takes it. 2 1 over Kaiser. Wow. Damn. Big fans, big fans. Finally! So many sets going closer and closer, but finally takes one. Kai looking very shaky though. Damn right, your mom. It's a, it's even a daisy too, I believe you're a daisy. Uh, I saved right. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I press it five times so it does it. We're on Ruben? Yeah. We're on. Sick. All right, it's Ruben v. McLeod now. Bed down. <laughs> Well, if you loved that Peach game, you're going to love this one too. This is a very big one. If anybody's been uh, following McLeod's uh, process, over this past year, year or so, he has been grinding like no other. Probably the hardest working player in the melee, South Australian at least, South Australian melee scene right now. I mean, such a huge improvement. It's always fun to see him play against people, especially against Ruben. Because who doesn't love Ruben? So, grind it gang, exactly. He's on that Smash World Tour grind. <coughs> So if you love Peach games, you're gonna love this one. Let's get into it. Wonder where they're gonna go. Yoshi's? No, surely not. I reckon uh like Battlefield maybe. We have so many Peach gamers in here today. And they go Battlefield. He is going Falcon, so a little different than what you're seeing, but I mean, Nanx has a nasty, nasty Falcon. Falcon. That was a 
fun little hand warmers. Both seem to be warmed up. It's going to be a good game. Again, check the bracket. Uh, got a lot of really good players from SA here. So if you've got someone that you've been dying to see, <laughs> they're probably here today. You've got a 15, 14-man bracket, sorry. So really, really good. All right, game one. He's coming out strong. Oh, here we go. We have yet another commentator, uh, an SA Smash personality, some may say. Muscat. Oh, they get the entire intro and everything? You do. Works. You do. Muscatio, competitor, commentator, he triple threat. <laughs> <laughs> Writer, <laughs> director, producer, choreographer. You do it all, man. Um, anyway. This is a fun game. I We have so many Peaches in the chat right now that have just been loving these Peach games. And they're so, yeah. hogged out of their gourd, as I may say, to see uh, Catherine win. Now we've got McLeod, who's been, I'd say, grinding more than virtually anyone in SA to get good. Oh, for sure. He, he hits the cube. He hits the sticks. He, he does. Some... He lives melee. When he closes his eyes, he sees the C stick. I feel like he lives melee and bouldering. <laughs> yeah, he melee is, and bouldering. It's definitely a shared love, but... They played it decently. Mostly on high recently. Um, McLeod gently having the better of the two. Um, yep. Can also... you pull your mic up a little bit? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was at least just a little bit. Yeah. Great. Uh, Ruben making the switch. He's been like sort of half on the switch from like Samus to Falcon for quite a long time, but definitely feels like he's trying to make the full switch nowadays. Really? I yeah. thought uh, Falcon was just like a matchup thing. Like he'll play Falcon against like Peach. Or... See, that it could also it could also be that, but I do believe he's trying to um, make the full-time switch. That said, obviously in like tournament. Mm. Again, uh, we've got McLeod. Is he's falcon against me too. Yeah, yeah, he uses falcon a lot, man. It's really nasty. He played his falcon against me. It's uh, it's really really stylish and it's a lot of fun to play against. I'm sorry about that stream. I had to tell um, some, someone was asking who when they were playing. Turns out it's gonna be me and Catherine next. Oh, on stream. Yes, on stream. Oh, brilliant. A more peach, dude. Giant, every dude, game. Every, every game. Dude, SA is the peach day. It's, you it know, is. What a beautiful, beautiful thing. <laughs> maybe not everyone, you know. The, you know, this cheeky big fox, maybe treating it something like something out of Goosebumps, but, you know. You get like, God, so many floaties. <clears throat> so like, many floaties, man. And right now, Ruben's still one of the toughest. He one is. of the best and brightest. One of the upcoming stars of this day. Well, not even upcoming. He's, he's upcoming just a star. He's just a, yeah. Everybody loves Ruben. We got Stadium. I mean, this is Frozen, right? Yes. Yeah. It should be. If yeah. It isn't, then Frozen's a. Well, I think Pokemon Stadium is just such a horrible stage to play on if it's not Frozen. It's fine when it's not. I mean, the edges are a little bit iffy. But I hate it. I actually don't like. Apart from like the transformations of Fox, where you can like you know get zero to deaths. Yeah. I really don't, there's like a lot of transformations where you can just shine. They don't actually. They just immediately like because it's like sort of uneven. Yeah. They just immediately um get out of hit stun. Mm. So like we're shining is was bad. I'm like what, what's this? Oh, I can't insta stun lock people across the stage. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Everybody cry for Fox. Will, will they, please? Will, they, Someone? <laughs> will there be tears shed oh. for the Fox McLeod players? Oh. This is looking like a, a lot more even of a game. That Let's go. Oh, oh the big turn out. The bouldering sniper. So one of the things as well, once McLeod gets to like higher percent, is that he can actually um, jump head or out and down for a knee. At least he should, he should like be reasonably consistent at it by now. So like... Falcon's gonna struggle a little bit to get these kill confirms. You know, if you're used to getting down for an E at like, say, 70, and just it working, and then you don't, it's like, oh my god, I have to wait till like 100, 110 to get stocks. Yeah. Again, just, it's such, he's got such solid edge guards against Falcon. Falcon's recovery is pretty bad, but like, Peach can just abuse it so much. He just like, like yeah. sits at the ledge and whacks him. He doesn't overextend too much to like, get baited by the Falcon Drift. He just. He's playing a very solid. Staying mostly grounded. Um, and when he is like. 
when he's going here, it's a very short float. Just a quick float aerial, landing again. He's getting back to stage so much. Uh, do you think Pete should be living to 153% on this matchup? Or? Ideally, no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, but again, if you don't have your. You know, oh, yeah, that's five as well. Yeah. yeah. So we got, um, still got one. Uh, so, Pretty and your mum, thank you for the follows, by the way. Thank you, everyone, for watching. 27 viewers. Very nice, very nice. If you don't have down for an E and you're not able to just land a, like, a space back air, mm. or God forbid, a Randy E, then, like, how are you closing out these stocks? Up air, like, high enough percent? You, it really feels bad if you're Falcon and you're doing down for up air to close out the stock at, like, 140. Yeah, up air. It's. I'm still blown away by the way that uh, Caleb does short hop up airs. Like he taps Y and then with like the meat of his thumb hits up on the C stick. It's like the most unergonomic <laughs> thing I've ever seen. It's, it's incredible yeah, yeah, no, to watch I, it. I, I've seen it, I've heard it. The things we do when we don't want to play claw. Exactly. Like exactly. I use Z for all my aerials and occasionally use tap jump. Is that the. What? Yes, that, yeah, the searching method. <laughs> Is that a thing? That's actually, yeah. Really? It's not, it's I, not unique, yeah. I just thought it was the Caleb. The Caleb, yeah. You know. It's the Caleb in SA. Yeah. It's the Sechi everywhere else, but you know. Once, so yeah, like against a lot of beaches, that, that would have been me. That would have But instead, he gets out, and he even gets a reversal, and suddenly, you gotta feel bad if you're Falcon here. You're like, this is really my life, huh? Yeah. Okay. Close. Yeah, that's the thing. It you is. can. You can corral Peach to ledge, and she still has to get win another mix-up. Mm. Peach getting the ledge is not a, like, it's a half win, sort of, because it's better than just, like, getting hit, but it's still, it's not ideal. Oh, that, no, okay. Continuing on. Ah, very nice. Just puts on a little pressure into the corner, and just immediately backs back to center to um, punish the roll. That was a big SD. It was, but... I mean, this is still winner's bracket. I think uh, Nangs is kind of feeling himself with this matchup, kind of learning it a little bit more. It's so, going to take him out. Yeah. Right. And, I mean, McLeod is so solid, so... Oh, oh it does it again. So yeah. We could get the Nang stock here, but just rando knee. The rando, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, yeah, unless you're landing, like... Falcon obviously has, um, you know, confirmed since me that aren't just um, down throw, but, like, still landing, like, a proper nair, or... Especially against McLeod, who's power shooting, who's CCing. Yeah. He just lands a knee. But that knee was at what? Bud died at 120? Yeah. That's not ideal. <laughs> not ideal. He's a, he's there a it is. That's yeah. it. All right. So, uh, next? Yep. All right. Good shit to McLeod. We've got another Peach game next. Can't escape it. You'll never, never fully escape Peach, but good stuff to McLeod. Uh, we'll, of course, see Ruben again afterwards in the loser's bracket. But here we go. We have McLeod back. Bring out your McLeod pogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were talking <laughs> about Caleb. Caleb. Yeah. <laughs> Peach and winning finals too. Yeah. Pog. Peach. Two Peaches and winners semis. What other, what other region has that? Alright. Right. This is truly the superior region. <laughs> I hate it. I think that's the one the one qualifier of how good your region is, how many Peaches and in QOD. Uh, and winner semis. Oh, are we gonna do some losers? I mean, I'm down to have a, I, I'm down to come for a while, so yeah, go for it. All right, we're doing losers bracket stuff now. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm happy with that. You sound so excited to play Catherine Muscat. <laughs> He's he should be quaking in his boots. How many times has he lost to Kai, and you just beat Kai? We have <laughs> Brad versus Lemons. Oh, Kai Milo would be cool as well, what the hell? Is that really happening? Ready, go! Oh, these are, they're playing already. They're just getting into it. I don't think, like, oh, no, they're, okay, yeah, it's definitely animal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that scared me. I was like, shit, 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 shit. 
Oh, the look, what, the look what happens with the mask thing as well. Oh, wow. Oh, what fixed it itself? Works. Let's go. Oh. You're so good at this job. <laughs> Before it just had like a that missing JPEG image. <laughs> oh, we got we got real Marth here. Marth is just Marth is a is a conspiracy. He doesn't actually exist. I wish. Oh. But, you know, well, yeah. I mean, he's the scourge of Peach players. So. He's the something. <laughs> he's I think he's the scourge of like every gamer. Except, yeah. Like maybe like Falcon gamers, maybe she. Oh, every other gamer does not like that. What do you mean? How's Peach Falcon not melee? Shut up, Lex. <laughs> Peach Falcon is the melee. Actually, Peach Falcon is like a very degenerate matchup. Like, <laughs> Peach depending, Falcon. depending on the players, can be a very because neither neither character really wants to approach. You. And both like and it's it's very hard for both characters. Falcon can run away forever. We do have the lemons mark, which I'm excited to see again. This should be an interesting one, actually. Brad's definitely favored, but. Liam's done crazy things. Mission complete. I mean, I don't, I'm actually hella down to comp, just comp. Yeah. Man, it's I don't want to lose to Muscats, man. You don't want to lose to Muscat? Muscat. I'm going to beat Dude. the fucking shit out of Muscat. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna make him wish he was comp. never born. Uh, As he walks behind the... He does. He does. He does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> That's if he gets past Catherine, that is... <laughs> 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 Muska, can you imagine? Can you Peach win winners finals? Could happen. I played Peach Ditto earlier today, so I'm warmed up. First one in like two months. Since I played Catherine last week's one, it was my first Peach Ditto. Fiction, thank you for the raid. 37. Appreciate it, mate. Wait, do we get Fiction? Hell yeah, yeah. thanks Fiction. Thank Welcome you, to South Australia. <laughs> I know, right? We got 37 boys watching losers. Oh, it's, I guess it's just losers now. Yeah, yeah. We'll have some exciting gameplay coming up. Later. This is the first, I think, well, the second uh, set without a peach in it. Thank God. <laughs> Boo. I was, I was getting a bit tired of going, oh, he did something on shield, and he's eating 50% from a down smash. Like, it happens so much. But, but when when, you just, when they do things on my show, my show goes shining. Yeah. So that's cool. Right? It's it's <laughs> equally as lame. Oh, you can't be saying that. <laughs> Breaking my heart. <laughs> but I had to I had to read. Oh, oh God, Phantom here. That, that was a really taking the first stop. Hey, yeah, Liam. Liam's I don't know. He just, he just keeps playing fighting games. So he, he's our plays me in neutral the way like most top players don't. Yeah. And then he hits his money. But that's just my life. About yeah. six. Never mind. Not twenty. <laughs> I lied. Yeah, I don't think uh, Liam's really stuck with a character for too long. Like, yeah, it's not well, he was Marth. He was Marth for ages. But yeah. Now, I think he, he's just been like bit more melee. These are two. Um, these are two non-practicing gamers. Yeah. This, this, this comes from the heart, right here. All, all this gameplay just comes from the heart and soul in the moment. This is heart and soul melee gaming. I'm excited to watch it first. Big fan of both these players. Love more. Love all these players in the tournament. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. 14. I mean, huge turnout. It's true. Practice things for nerds, exactly. It's a good thing. Mark killer. Uh, nice. Thanks everybody for watching. The bracket is up. Uh, should be. Wait, do we have? Uh, do we have um, explanation mark bracket? I think we do. Let's have a look. Let's put it in the chat. I think I got that right. Kath going over Kai is crazy. There it is. Exclamation mark bracket. Looking, looking at how Kai was playing, uh, not a shot. Probably just came from work or something. No one's up at all. <laughs> yeah. But we, we, uh, thank you so much for hosting the stream, guys. This is yeah. cool. Always love it. Yeah, this is great. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Could it's, make a uh, loser run as well. Exactly. Don't count Kai out yet. He's been Musk out more times than, I don't know, the years I've been born. <laughs> The Kai Muscat. Now we have a four way in SA, so it should be very interesting. And we could have had a five way, but there's no doubt. Oh, walks up wow. and four tilts. Brad does a lot of up B's above the ledge. Like a lot. It's like a lot, a lot. He mixes up up B and side B from that spot. But Brad, like these are both very interesting neutral gamers. Yeah. They're like they'll just do things no other player in the country. Will. And you're like, oh, I got God. I have more fun, I think, playing against Brad than literally anybody else. Yeah. Yeah. 
He's so much fun to play against. He just runs at you, dude. <laughs> he just runs at you. Yeah, exactly. It either works or it doesn't. Yeah, he, he knows that. He knows that. He respects it. He's here for the fun of the game. He's here for the fun of the game. Yeah, exactly. Brad and I have like a, a very similar one. Wow. wow. Liam looking like a... Not SA Nick. SA Nick in disguise as Lemons. <laughs> Going through the loser bracket. Maybe he just took it easy on me. Maybe. Maybe he's just charging up. Getting his full power. Lemons is winning, currently. This is a best of three. Yeah, best of three. Next round's best of four. Best of four. Next, uh, yeah, best of four. We're, <laughs> best running of we run we're so upside down, we run best of four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. down under, bro. Yeah. It's like tennis, no one wins until like you get to one, right? If they both play the two. Oh, advantage, yeah. yeah. So you go fight three, all right? We've had like a 20, we've had a 22 um, round, uh, 22 match game, uh, game match once. That's just facts about Australia. For all zero American villages. Well. Yeah, fun facts about the land down under. I have to say, it is very fun fucking with Americans about Australia. Oh. Wow, he Liam? lives too. He went so low. Ken 2? Maybe he, Ken 3. He dipped his, uh, the tips of his toes in the void and he said, no, thank you, sir. Liam looking good, to be honest. I don't know, Liam's moth always look good. He just. I don't know. He gets frustrated with it. Frustrated with the game. Yeah. Doesn't really want to put in the hours and like doesn't like how he plays without putting in the hours. So catch twenty two. But he's a good player. There it is, big bear. He's out of there. Also, I've heard rumors that apparently there's a headset on the line for the winner of this one. There's a headset on the line. Apparently. Wow. Which makes me about like five. Actually, if it's a, if it's not a wireless headset, I need one because I just realized that my wireless headset is giving me like ten frames of audio lag. <laughs> is that real? Yeah, yeah. Really? So, yeah, because I have a wireless headset, so like for melee, it's like an extra 10 frames of your legs. So wow. Like, audio's completely That's super interesting. <laughs> I think a, a good headset really makes a lot of difference in, in just gaming in general. Yeah. Uh, just like, I just hope it's live. But we'll see. If, it is, if we do in fact have a headset, maybe I'm lying to all the gamers out there, but I was told this by a muscat. Now it's here himself. Musket just wants you to get the full power against him. Yeah, Musket just wants the full power. Just give me all the motivation. It's like Goku, man. He just wants to fight people with full power. I think Musket's happy beating me away. <laughs> However, it show up. <laughs> Musket gets his rush. Beats all the SA players and gets the Oh, full power. there it is. <laughs> Game 2 looking very different after that. I, that after that first dunk, completely turned around. I guess like we have just one ten neutrals, but ten percent each hit has to finish this up for it to be worth it going for four. Oh, oh, he right. lived. Oh, he shield drops, jumps back up. Thinking Brad goes to ledge is a big mistake. Brad really is the mango of South Australia. You reckon? Uh, it's just the way he plays. He just always goes up and like he just runs at you, and he does like these crazy like little timing and stuff. Yeah, he stuff. wins Smash Summit. You know. Missing the um punish game and defense that makes mango mango though, and also <laughs> probably a lot of the neutral. But sometimes he does something crazy and you're like, damn, crazy sick. Oh, holding space with the Nair, Brad doing the worst Nair on shield. That is the mango. Oh. Catches the Big wall, smash. Man. He's surely going to get him for this, but he doesn't. Yeah. As soon as that up tilt goes, he has, he has to get like a weird like DI mix up. As soon as you as soon as you force the gamers into a DI mix up, he's probably gonna Dude, he mangled that. Oh, oh, MTK. Oh, oh there it is. We've got a set on our hands, John. And ladies. Mission complete. Du, du, du. I wonder what losers are looking like. Who knows which stage they're gonna go to? FD. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty quick. <laughs> Wow, I wonder what was banned. Yeah. I don't know. Why would you ban anything else? Do they think it's a best of five? Uh, they clar we clarified best of three. Cool. So we'll see. Maybe banned, um, fuck, I don't know. Pokemon? Maybe. I haven't seen that, bro. Maybe Liam did what he did to me and just picked random. Yeah. And went to Yoshi's so, <laughs> You know. I'll take an L for the game. Brad looking a lot better at catching Liam, he's coming down. Liam not knowing how to finish stocks. Fox equipped with a million, like, just an up smash that just finishes stocks. So, advantage to Brad here. Ooh, another four smash. Going for... No. The gamers refuse to react. I swear, like, 
There are like ten. Yeah, there are like five to ten gamers in Australia who actually like react to the way Marth moves when he goes off stage. Everyone other just like picks a random timing. And it. It's always wrong. I just, well, I mean, I play Puff, so yeah, it's hard. I really have no leg in the race <laughs> for, for uh, edge guarding Marth because I, I know it's so easy to edge guard Marth as Puff. Yeah. You can Marth kill her. You just jump off and like fall with a forward air and it catches. Yeah, that's a lot of cool stuff. Puff's really cool actually. I, I love Puff. Puff, but I mean. There's no better way to ostracize yourself in the melee community than going, yeah, I play Puff and then timing out Peaches. <laughs> hey, I love that. Hey, if you can time me out, you got the win, dude. Good luck. That's the way that I think about it as well, but... It's a hot button issue for melee players. That's true. We're trying to be cool. These are two cool gamers. Cool, calm, collected. Liam's Brad, just thinking about the game. Liam cannot afford to have another 170% stock on that team. Yeah. Getting three grabs in a row. Oh, Brad finally gets the uh, the line. 19%. We take 90% off a grab, to be honest, to 0% of the game. This, this match oh. Brad just... He is... Do the micro-spacing on those uh, down tilts, man. He's just getting so much Liam, out of it. Liam just, like, sort of undershooting and, like, poking, whereas Brad's just like, I know you're gonna poke, I'm just gonna call it out. Yeah, see? <laughs> up smash, up smash, up smash. GG's, guys. Brad that advancing to lose his quarters, I believe. That was a good game. Now, who has we... Are we doing more losers? All right. We have Catherine. This is winner semis. Uh, we have Catherine versus Muscat. Muscat. This is going to be fun for all the Peach gamers out there that are still. Love the oh, this isn't going to be fun for the Peach gamers. It's going to be fun for the Fox gamers. <laughs> 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 this is going to be very fun for the Fox gamers and for not many other gamers. All right. Do, do, do. Oh my god! Stupid IRL Dreamline sounds. Because you don't have the uh, you don't have the music on Slippy, so I have to listen to this garbage. Is there not music on Slippy? Mm -mm. Oh really? Did, would it cause desync issues or something? Or? I think so. And then they're, or like they're just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know their reasoning. I have like a. a good, Brad. I have a personal theory that like the reason that. Pokemon Stadium is frozen is just that like Fizzy just fucking hates Pokemon Stadium he's like I yeah it doesn't work <laughs> with the desync guys if he did that he's a legend to the community he's a genius yeah, yeah everyone hates Australia. Pokemon Stadium see we're, we're in South Australia we've already frozen Pokemon Stadium in IRL tournaments where are you America where are you <laughs> that's my question behind South Australia you're in South Australia we call out 350 million people I don't know with our like 10 people. Yeah. Well, 14. Well, we got 14 tonight. 14. Let's go, Evac. Holy shit. I'm excited. So am South I. Australian Melee. What a place to be playing Melee. We got people on the come up. We got people like Muscat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you too. Enjoy, Cal. This is mind banning. Uh, no, Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> I, was, I, I had I had a plan for that sentence. Oh, I, like, I didn't have a plan. I planned for it to go further than that, but then I just couldn't think of anything and stopped it there, and it was way more funnier than anything <laughs> yeah, I could have yeah. <laughs> Oh, bless. Alright. Now, if, if, not saying, yeah. if Catherine loses here, she gets knocked, well, she gets put into losers. Loses quarters? Yeah. yeah. Will you play Peach Daisy? Yeah, I'll play Peach Daisy. Like, in, in remembrance. Wait, I, I just get on the setup and I'm like, what am I vibing with? What color vibes with me the most? I just like, I, I just hover through the colors. I'm like, yeah, blue. I'm feeling blue. You're feeling blue? Have a D, have a dub. <laughs> I got that right. I what not. gamers do we have in chat? Let's find out. We have many How a gamer. Check? How do we check? I don't uh, know. I know, just look at chat, I guess. Okay, there's like a thing. Oh. We'll find out later. Hello to all you gamers in chat. Big gamers. We have a likes in chat. Of course we do. Eventually, hopefully we'll be... South Australia could be the first major at at this rate, so hopefully we can see many of the national gamers come down. 
maybe in a few years Big Cheese becomes the Australia's bit premier event. We can see some international gamers come down to our little humble abode. That would be brilliant. That'd be so I'd sick. Love I love South Australia's melee scene. It's re it's, it's art. It's great. It's so good. It's so tight as well. It is. It's great. No matter if I kick Muscat's ass or if he kicks my ass, we're all going out to dinner at the end of the night. One of us will be salty, but where are we going to dinner? I don't know. We're gonna have to figure it out. Yeah. Well, a lot. I think a lot of places either aren't gonna be open, or they're gonna have like, well, it costs uh, yeah. an absurd, like a ridiculous amount of money. I think more. we're thinking like Guzman's, or Guzman. I might get like Indian or something. We'll yeah. I'm down with anything, but yeah. we'll figure out something. I'm sure. Yeah, that's the way we uh we deal with tilt in South Australia. We just we all get uh oh. greasy food after melee. I love the love the little static as I hear Peach down smash these headphones. <laughs> it's the little things. It's the little things. Oh, having a stream back, having a real tournament. I love this. <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. I love commentating. Thank you all for watching as well. This is great. Happy to have you all here. Thank you uh, for fiction. Okay, I wonder Already. if there are any fiction gamers. Any fiction gamers still on the chat? Let us know. But we have Catherine B. Muscat. Ooh. Catherine with like five bears. I don't use that move enough, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, that's so good. The way it Catherine is uses it and the way Almada uses it, I just don't. Mm -hmm. I will, I'll learn that. Work in progress. Oh! Muscat looking a little bit shaky. Catherine taking the first 70% doesn't get the follow up though. Covered nothing. Like if he, oh. if he, if he DI'd, if he, if he just takes in place or DI'd, take to L, then she wouldn't have covered that either. Oh! oh. <laughs> Catherine with the most insane the has gone. Nah. Oh, oh, Muscat holding down for no yeah. reason. This is looking like a McCallum Cloud Knight. I don't think, I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I'm feeling good. <laughs> Catherine will learn the SDI up at some point. Probably not. She'll never learn it. Oh, maybe, maybe. Catherine's been getting a, getting a lot recently. Ooh. Wow, Vortex. 72 Hits with the catches bear? him getting greedy. Muscat may have underestimated his own sister somehow. I don't know how that works. 73%. Oh. Don't know. Muscat's very good from the ledge here, but an option that doesn't feel important. Well, that's, that, that's probably going to be it, right? Oh, oh he, he goes almost high. went all the way out. Ooh, if she just went out and fed, but she didn't trust herself. She didn't know. Oh, that, that, that was almost a sub point, I'm sure. Probably not, though. She doesn't trust those ones. Kath always had really fast point error. Like that. Yeah. Like, she just acts really fast out of shield or something. I just, like, couldn't for the longest time. Like, down Kath. Oh, what the oh. fuck, dude? Okay. Yes, yes. yes. Better say if he actually lived. Wait, it. how the hell did we start Stadium? Yeah. I'm gonna have to sit Catherine down. We're gonna I, explain. Yeah, I said before, Catherine <laughs> likes Stadium. I don't. Why are we on Stadium? Why, why did we start Falco and Yoshi's? What is happening? <laughs> My mind going blank. But you know what? She's winning, so she's like, I don't know if it works, dude. It's just Big Brian. I'm just imagining Muscat. Maybe it's a mind game thing where, like, oh, I have to play my sister. I've always been my sister. And, like, you know, like, she picked me to stay and free, free as hell. And Catherine's just like, hit, 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 hit. <laughs> I've been practicing this for years. Oh! Cover straight again. Oh, uh, goes low. Not the best recovery so far. Everyone looking shaky except your boy, I will say. Your boy feeling good. <laughs> Catherine also looking good. Actually, Catherine, Catherine looking really, like, her neutral's been really solid, and, like, her pits have just been, like, relatively clean. Like, not nothing, like, insane, but just, like, good, clean pull-ups and edge balls and balls. Mm. Alright, last stock, game one. Can literally be anyone's. I mean, Catherine's yeah, playing I really well. I could win well. this game, you could win this game. <laughs> I could win this game? Could be anyone. It could be Milo. Could be Milo. Milo could just be winning this game right now. I feel oh like no! So in South Australia, for any of the fiction games of gaming watching, we actually have a tag rule, to where like at any point in the set, you get one a tournament where you can just yell tag, and then like the game will pause, and then you can swap players. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're only allowed to wobble if your parents are in the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. If your parents are in the crowd, they you wobble. These are just Australian rules, by the way. But we also use Frozen Stadium, so you know we're having some. Oh, close there it is. Game very, one. very close. Muscat clutching out, though. Muscat breathing a sigh of relief. But when I say a sigh of relief, I mean a big ass head shake. And, he, <laughs> and a gulp of, I don't know, fucking almond milk. Let's go. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> coconut milk? Coconut I think he's, I th yeah, I think it might be like coconut water. Oh, coconut water, I think. Uh, Which Muscat told me for the spice. He's a spice grinder, so he just like. He just like buys random things that are spicy or like goes out to random places that are spicy and tries to eat them. Really? 
He's just living that thrill-seeking life. I know. It's crazy. Because he's not doing it in melee. I've seen his gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> I know he'd be shit-talking me if he was on the mic. <laughs> we all love each other. Oh, I have for him to watch this back. <laughs> there's such a... Uh, yeah, there's like a big difference between like... We're friends and I'm gonna shit talk you and then just like yeah. vehemently not liking someone. And in South Australia is such a tight community, I think a lot of people just Yeah, I think everyone's good. Everyone yeah. knows. We've had, we've been to enough like ten PM like fucking game tens. We're like, yeah, we're still here guys. Can we just go to dinner? One of you win. <laughs> oh, what the I I've made that mistake many times. She just thought she was gonna grab ledge and she oh. didn't and she was like, oh and she realized too late. Oh, is that a su I swear to god she's double jumping. Is she? Has Catherine been on like the weirdest practice grind? She needs to grind that SDI. That's a can't be taking 50% off grab. That was a uh, option. I will say. Maybe it was an, maybe it was a tempted wave dash. Maybe it was many things. Clock's broken. That's all. Clock's I unfair. That, that was second hit too. No way out. Maybe an edge. Muscat just getting a little bit paid. Damn. Like if Damn. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. This, this is what we expected game one to look like, by the way. Oh, this is game, this is the best of five. Yeah. Um, but Catherine's got loads of time to make this bad. She does. But I think what you watch between this game and game one is Muscat will just like add little pauses. Whereas like game one, he'd just like run at her and try to do a move. And Catherine would just have the fucking butt in her face. But now he'll just like stop. Catherine will put her butt out and then Ka Ka Muscat will do yeah. that. And she'll like, so like, Muscat adapting. Learning a lot. I mean, it's really that. unfortunate that he had to learn this lesson before he played me, but we'll see. <laughs> well, we're going on to game three. Catherine probably going back to mountain. She loves mountain. Yeah. Like Catherine, Catherine stage picks her in an anchor. She'll like lose. Yeah. She got three stock, but you know what? Not back. I don't disagree. I don't think FD is particularly good. Yeah, Muscat just like finally fishing her out there. Just being like, it's just the tiniest bits of patience give you so much value in this game. Yeah, see? Just wait, instead of rushing. Oh. Such a meaty. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Oh, wow. hold it out. Good stuff, Catherine. Must have going high one too many times. Those cool outs give her so much. Like when she, she's been doing them throughout the set. And I think she just has to do it more. She's never done, like she's been, f like she's literally famous in South Australia. Like both muscats were, but like famous for just like not edge guarding and just like doing nothing, pulling turns. I'm really impressed with this Catherine this time. Unfortunately, no Caleb to beat for Catherine today, but I guess she'll settle for Kai. Is Caleb not here? Unfortunately not. Damn. His brother is though. Yeah. For the first time in well, like two years. Yeah. <laughs> like, very exciting. Oh, Muscat with a high side B for the 50th oh. time. Catherine yeah. just needed to grab yeah. ledge there. Oh. Oh. He gets back on stage. That was just good SDI. Yeah. Muscat's really good at um like uh, SDIing into the stage and then he SDIs down, uh, so he lands. Mm. So it's really hard to aerial him after the death, depending on if he gets. Yeah, Muscat's defensive play really good. Muscat's just really good against Peach. Like, no Who would have thought? I know, right? Sisters uh... Peach, main practice partners Peach. Crazy. This game was looking a lot closer, but two stocks. Two stocks. That, if that 18% 18, 18 stock didn't happen, then maybe. But a little bit of a greeny down smash. Can't say I haven't done that before. Like, when, when Muscat makes the mistakes there, like Shining a Flame, so those are the kind of like mistakes you just have to kill him for. Mm. And, like, Catherine's just not quite at that level, but really good dare grab. Runs all the way into the corner, too. Unfortunately, doesn't get the take this. Shining's back on stage. Hits him with the big fish. You're gonna oh, pull it out. I was expecting, oh. I was, uh, I was expecting the jump turn up throw to catch the, uh, the high up B, but... I was expecting her to just fair. That, would that, yeah. you reckon that would've that hit? Too. Yeah. But not, the confidence not right there. There we go. That's gonna be death. The tenth fucking what? high side B in the set. I think Muscat's just turned his brain off at this point. He's just like he'll die eventually. He'll die eventually. It's fine. I got two. I took. I got two more games. What's Catherine gonna do, baby? Would it be? You reckon it would have been better to back throw there instead of forward throw? Uh, for Cath? Yeah. It depends. Up throw is really good too. I'd probably up throw there to be honest. Now you get a flat side face. Catherine uh, not quite. Ah, uh, there it is. Three over by Muscat. Are we running winners or are we running losers? I assume I'm doing some losers. 
All right, excellent. We what have losers' we quarters. We have losers' Is that quarters. Who, what's the game? Oh, sick. Let's go. You're doing great. Holy shit, Kath. You're in losers' semis, isn't it? Yeah, wait, no. You're in losers' quarters now. Who? So, wait. So, wait. Kai and Ruben are one side of the brackets. So that means you'll probably have... um. Lem? Like, oh yeah, Brad. You can do that. Yeah, yeah, you know, but you can do it. I'm excited for you to watch this back, Oscar. <laughs> yeah, how, 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 how hot? Yeah. It was, it was, it was, uh, it was, uh, I'm probably gonna win this set. I'm not gonna think too much from my perspective. All right, we have Lucy's quarters, everyone. Everybody loves to see Nang. He's back. This, I think I think he's going to be one of the closest sets of the tournament, honestly. Uh, we'll see. I think um, so. Ruben? Uh, Kai looks bad earlier, but 2 point Milo, so we'll see. Maybe Kai's one dot now. Mm -hmm. Kai definitely a player that takes a bit of time to warm up. So well, he's, I'm he's been TOing, so, I mean. Oh, well, he's yeah, doing the stream stuff. Which, thank you very much, Kai. The light, yeah. It's the life of uh, a TO. It's a very uh, generous thing. Oh. <laughs> oh, I honestly probably should warm up, but I'm just doing dumps. So we'll just do that. You can't see, but Kai's got a uh, fucking really sweet pair of kicks on right now. You can kind of see him. Oh, damn, he done with that. Dude. Kai's entire outfit. Yeah. Dude, Kai's a baller. I love Kai. <laughs> 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 How did, uh, how did Tish do this one? Um, I must have lost to either Brad or Liam. Mm. Uh, Brad, I think, probably. But, well, I guess... I think that's also unfortunately for our boy Tish. No mm. Caleb to beat. No Caleb. <laughs> Caleb, definitely the, um, the, the one to beat for, the, for our little pull All right, this is going to be a great to see set. Again. So I. Love, love Ruben so, so much. We just love Ruben, you I know? Just love Ruben too. And his Falcon. I mean, I love playing as Falcon personally. Really? No, 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 no. I mean, it was so weird. What? Because <laughs> I. Oh. No, it's actually it's getting so much better. Um, like it's getting a lot better. Like it's but he's just had he's had like sessions where he just takes a dump on me. Yeah. That's really fast. I can see a lot of new stuff. It's good. I think he's just getting better. I think everyone is pretty hungry in SA, so it should be really interesting. Yeah. No, Falcon is uh one of the, the uh, it's so unfun to play as his puff. It's like it's just a matter of not getting grabbed. No Falcon. Oh yeah. Sure. God, just just down, down throw knee, man. It works from like uh, know, yeah, two percent works. onwards. Yeah, it's it's really funny. Hate it. He's got he, he hits hard. Yeah. Puff hits Falcon hard. So it's like it's like this weird thing. And neither neither character is like good at approaching. Like, yeah. It's the same thing with Peach. You need to stay like uh, just. Like in the yep. below or like just horizontal with Falcon all the time. Because you're gonna get up air chain yep. or you're gonna get grabbed. Yeah, you can't you can't go above them and you can't go like you just yeah. have to be really careful. Yeah, there's no. Anyway, to the Falcon. Yeah. That was what I was going. Kai looking good. Kai you looking really good. Oh! You know what? I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> say something, say something. Uh, Ruben looking good now. Yeah. Yes. This, dude. Right. Well, I, I haven't been immediately yeah. proven wrong. Oh, there we go. A little bit. I haven't been immediately for <laughs> You know, that was expected. 130. I'm so surprised on how... What? I'm so surprised at how strong uh, screw attack is on shield. Yeah. Yeah, you that. have to be careful. Like, um, the problem is you don't actually get anything off it. Yeah. And the Falco can off. mix up um, like the drifts. So if the, if, like, if, if the Falco makes the drift like ambiguous and like use screw attack, you can just take like 30 or 50 off the top Because now you're in the air. Interesting approach option. Is there? Actually, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's I'm pretty sure that's the best play every time he does it. Oh, it's because, um, okay, so with Zare, um, when you go to Nair, uh, like especially like out of a wave dash if you're playing service, um, if you're holding L and A, you get. Oh, it's a grab. Yeah, you, oh. you get Zare instead of Nair. Yeah. So that, I remember that when I was playing. Ooh, catch him. Big pull out. What's he gonna get I don't off? know what you get off the spot though. Like, what do you actually spot though during that spot? I guess down smash? Just a 
cross up. Yeah. Uh, he's getting it back fine, I'd... though. Bringing this back, considering he got spiked at 40. But yeah. His mental game is too strong. He simply cannot get demoralized. Grimm had to call out for ledge, but like, simply just didn't space it correctly. One day, Oz Gamers will be getting good at covering the ledge. Not today. But yeah, it's not today. Not well, it's hard, you know? It is. It is. slower. Kai holding center. I haven't seen down tilt yet, which... That was really good patience. That full hop was really smart. Just like knowing Ruben. Didn't really want to move out the corner. Really good weak pass. Oh, was that bad DI? Uh, yeah. But it was like he was double. He was doing the wall jump, to, so he was holding out. The yeah. Oh, Kai, no punish. Have to punish those. Well, you don't. Know, I mean, so there's like 20 neutral interactions, but you probably should punish those. Oh. It's, yeah, there's like, and like screw attack will just like randomly, like they can randomly just like tag. So there's, there's problems with screw attack, but it's an excellent option. Oh, the nah. I would have tried for a DI myself, but I guess, I don't know what Santa's even has left. Alright, both plays looking really good now. I, 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 I thought this was going to be a close set, and it yeah, is, right. so I'm, I'm, always happy, I'm always happy to watch Samus, you know? I, I, I love I, watching this, this character. I, I think Samus is one of the coolest characters in the So do I. Not a lot of people agree with me. Josh doesn't agree with me. I think he's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the really, like, the weird oddball characters yeah. that don't feel like anyone else. So, like, you know, Peach, Puff, Samus. Just, like, the slower characters that have to, like, work in, like, weird ways. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. They have to work in way more different ways to get the you know, same damage. And I love watching Samus' punish with like missiles and the way she covers stuff. Like, yeah. Alright, game one goes to Nangs. Played really solid there. What do you think they're going to go for game two? So, I'm surprised Found and Dreams is game one because Ruben loves that stage. Game two's going to be Yoshi's. Yeah. I imagine. Maybe Stadium if you like Stadium more, but like that stage. Like, yeah. So here we are on Stadium. <laughs> Not on Stadium, sorry. Yoshi's story. <laughs> Uh, Kai, I think we'll be pretty dominant here, honestly. Probably. Um, he was really close last game. He just, like, finish. Just, like, hitting him too long. I think, like, the extra, like, the random kill and, like, the extra killing Samus, like, 30% earlier will help. Yeah. Like that. Wow. That like, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't work on any other stage. Yeah. Get some Yoshis. It's so scary. Do you think you should even approach Samus on that top platform? If she's sitting up there? Depends. Well, like, she can't really do anything out of it. Yeah. But, like, I'm not, can't really make that cause. Not playing better. I'll just pull turn at a fast speed. Mm. There are so many spot dodges. Yeah. I know it's addictive, man. Like, yeah. you, you get one spot dodge and you're all like, well, I'm gonna do it from now on. I think in. the biggest dopamine I've ever gotten in a tournament ever was I was playing Luigi and I had Ruben. It was like near the start of my career. Maybe I was like playing like a month. And I, I, I like walked up to Ruben, he spot dodged, and I upbeat reading the spot dodge. Oh, that was the biggest amount of dope, you know. <laughs> but I'm like, damn, I just fucking got you. You just nodded. I'm like, yeah, bitch. <laughs> you better nod. Oh. Ruben? Like, nuts with the charge shot, to be honest. He's the right amount of patience, the right amount of um, blowing the charge shot. I saw early, uh, in one of these earlier games, he like. Get his who he was playing as, but he smacked them like all the way to like just re like all the yeah. way to the other side of the stage. Instead of taking back stage control or anything, he just charged. Charge up. Yeah, what charged. Up was it? Yeah, it, it was, I think, maybe against like Peach. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. that's actually what you do against Peach. You hit her up and then you charge, charge, charge. Yeah. And then like she has to come down eventually, so you can like once your charge shot is full, you're actually much more threatening to her coming down. Yeah. So you don't actually want to like rush her up. Big bear, dude. <laughs> the yes, the I am always very scared when um, Ruben's recovering Kai's on the ledge, but it theoretically should be good for Falco. Yeah. Practically, not as good for Falco. Um, two down smashes, looking like Catherine over here. We got a lot of down smash gamers in uh, uh, South Australia, also. Another spot dodge. We've got real down smash. We do have a lot of down smash. William down smash, Catherine down smash, the fat down smash, Ruben down smash. We all love down smash. That's big. 
And it's still really anyone's game. It is. It is hard to make a comeback with Falco on the stage though. Well, yeah. kind of. You can, you can kill him, but... Oh, it's so patient. Look that was that. really good. I want to see, like, wave that down. Used a bit more. But we'll see. I don't think, I don't think Ruben uses wave that down enough. But... That's hard. I don't get Samus. Samus doesn't make sense in my head. I play her and I'm like, it really doesn't make sense. I think it's the sort of character where you just like need to get really familiar with how she works. Yeah. And, like her option, like how to punish reads. She's and, like, so uncomfortable to play yeah. starting out. She's like, it's like weird where it's like, she feels fine up to a certain point and then you hit that certain point you're like, how do I get better? Yeah, like you're Puff, like, Puff is kind of like that as well. Where you're like, oh cool, I can edge guard people, I'm resting. And then you're like, I just died at fucking 30%. Yeah. So like, how do I hit them? Do yeah. I it's like, like how do I get in? I'm trading everything. Yeah. The fox stopped approaching me. What do I do? <laughs> yeah, big fan of floaties. Big fan of Kai, big fan of Rune. Oh, oh that is, that's our confident charge shot. That's it. Oh, that's it. Wow. Okay. All right, it's 1-1. One, one. Where do you, where are they going to game three? Rune, can I make Pokemon? I imagine it's Pokemon. Pokemon? Yeah. yeah. Um, unless he's a Dreamline gamer. He might be a Dreamline gamer. I, I don't see Rublin as a Dreamline gamer though, but we'll see. I'd be a Dreamline gamer. I love Dreamland. But Ruben likes the missiles. But, you know, I love Dreamland, but if um, I never heard Gourmet race again, I wouldn't be sad. I have heard that song so many times. Who oh, did I win? I, I missed that. You don't have that in Slippy. Can I have that as like one of the Slippy options? Uh, just like where I can just like, oh, do I win? Do I, I think it causes desync, man. So. <laughs> PC's gonna be like, yeah, you know, in the new patch, uh, Jigglypuff actually causes desync, desync, so we're gonna have to remove it from the game. So it's just like the secret balance. It is. I'm, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the reason Pokemon doesn't have transformations is because he just has a gen an agenda against it. That stage fucking sucks. Yeah, it does. I think one of my favorite combos in the game is like Samus' down tilt, and it like pops them up behind her, and she forward smashes the other way. Mm. It just looks good. I just think a lot of like Samus' is bread and butter looks like it. Yeah, Samus is such a oh. cool looking character. Doesn't have reacts to the tag. Oh! oh! That was almost the juice. But not quite. This is loses quarters. This is like uh, I guess this kinda makes sense as loses quarters. Oh no it doesn't, because they're normally on the other side of the right. Yeah, I don't think we've ever seen this losing quarters in this in this like. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. We definitely need more kill moves by Kai. Samus is above us. Big damage. That was really good DI. Oh, good recovery. Spot dodge again. I guess the spot dodge just makes sense with how Ruben loves. It absolutely adores grab. Mm. Especially dash grab. And like catching the landings, like those faces, like normally would. Shield for like a dash tag or something. It's grabs. Samus is such a strange character. I love the way I grab works, man. Oh, Kasha. That looks intentional. <laughs> Again. Oh, that jump was risky, but gets back off. I always hate ledge dashing into that fucking yeah. Sigurage. Because you feel so dumb when it hits you, but it's kind of hate Yeah. That hit? Oh, that? Grab out of shield. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck was that going to hit? Ruben with an <laughs> idea. That, that's the most I can say about that. Yeah, he's a visionary. He's a visionary. Vision is scary. In one universe, uh... Ruben, not covering here. ledge again. I have, this is my shock face. It's his shock face? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Kai got to ledge. If there was a camera on commentators, he'd be welling up. Yeah, it would be like, man, I'm shocked. That's what they'd be saying. <laughs> Very quality commentary. Just nair covering the jump. Kai does a lot of... Weird jumps out of the corner. Kai does a lot of weird jumps. Kai doesn't like moving forward. God, that screw attack, man. Ruben does Ru like that. He's a very he's very confident in the way that he plays. He feels like with the charge shots and his screw attacks and his grabs as well. Oh my god. Samus grab is such a finicky thing. Wow. He's so good at Samus grab. I guess Samus grab is so bad or something for Ruben. Like the it better. Yeah. But yeah, also like all her like burst options and tilts are, like so safe and good and like shield is so good against them that like you're inclined to shield. Oh! What the hell? That bomb back air? Bomb shield drop back air? That was insane. That was something else. Last stock game three. 
Maybe this is the best of five, but still just as important. Yeah, this is a really important game, actually. Yeah. Oh, uh, he doesn't get anything off of it. What? The... Did he miss his L cancel or something? <laughs> My mind just sort of turned off for a like, uh, Do you see laser? Brain go. <laughs> I see the sound grab. It's so loud it draws me back. <laughs> it is really a, It's a horrible noise. It really is. I love the like the like the shenanigans you can do with it. Like this Pokemon setting, like you drop the leash all the way down. Yeah. It's so funny. Oh, that's. You get doesn't get anything off of it though. Yeah, he gets another chance. Yeah, that's that it. was so clean. So yeah. many like re like that timing on the back air and those refreshes. That was really good stuff from Kai, honestly. That that edge guard is like most people are too scared or fuck it up. Yeah. So like good and Kai for that. Kai looking a lot better. Yeah. Are we playing next or what's happening? That's playing. Oh block. Oh, it's best of five. Is it? Oh no, it's losers quarters. Oh. Yeah, losers quarters. Wait, Kai just won. Oh, oh no, it's losers. Okay. Yeah, it's best of five. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Baited. Uh, I'm probably going to get off the next set just so I can warm up a little bit because I really do want to beat Moscow. Man. What's but your uh, What's your mindset going into the Moscow match? Win. Win. Good, good mindset. Mean, it's pretty much just like hit hard. Yeah. I'm just going to try and hit him hard. Yeah. Try to jump. Like, hit him hard and just like. Play mix ups. So I'm just like, I'm gonna hit him up how hard and I'm gonna try and call him. Ruben takes first stock back on Pokemon Stadium. I think people are liking this stage way more than it's, that it's frozen. People are just finding better ways to play it. It's definitely just a better stage. No. Wow. Kai seemingly very happy with his last game. He's like, yeah, I won on Stadium. This is fine. Cool out of the way. Thank you, Lux. Hope everyone enjoyed my commentary. Whoa. Big pog. <laughs> Hopefully there'll be some big pogs in the chat right now. Maybe some sock pogs? Let's see. see some sock pogs. People sock pog now. Ruben two stops up. I want to see what he gets out of this. If he's going to get much of a sin. Yeah. And like 110 is like pretty safe. Ooh, good SDI. Yeah, really Actually, good Actually, I'm not sure if it's SDI or if uh, Kai, like, held in. I think that was SDI. Either way, good stuff, bro. Kai finished it up, though. Yeah, doesn't get to use that charge, though. Nope. Yeah. He just he gets stuffed out at range. If Falco's at range, he's going to shoot a laser at you, so. I wonder if, like, uh... I don't know, there's something weird about, like, Samus' charge shot. It's, like, so bad in general. Oh! What? <laughs> Did he throw it behind him? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that. Yeah, you might. Have, the hitbox might start like on him or just behind him. A lot of dash grabs actually have the hitbox starting behind the character. Yeah. Which relevant for some matchups. Relevant for Marth, uh, Path, uh, Marth and Path. So you like the hitbox behind Marth in his dash grab. In his dash grab is actually lower than the hitbox behind. Him. That's why you want to overshoot Marth. <laughs> The Ruben grab, yeah. Unfortunately, gets a kill. 69? That's not too bad. It's a magic percent. You can't lose. 10% got. Ah. Oh, oh. 50%. We'll take that. We got 50% off it. Kai, patient out of the corner. Shooting a lot. Damn. Which is a lot of confidence. Wow. Uh, so grab. many power shields. That power shield hits the air. It's pretty easy. Like, once you, once you get a feel for power shielding, it's like really, really easy. <laughs> I love Ruben Scraps. Let's go. Oh, that was a that was a near and a half. Take 30. Oh no, that was oh. almost something. If he like side beat instantly and he got like the meteor, oh that was almost something. Ruben's on 69% too. Ruben. Oh. oh. He, oh. <laughs> so much going on there. That was both players having that heroes. But it is um, match point for Ruben. Yeah. Uh, for Kai, sorry. So Ruben, or maybe a little bit, a little bit angsty, wants to get a call Big out. Big F oh, smash. We're going to game five. Damn, Jeff with the call. Is it close? She's really close. I would have put it on Ruben, but we'll see. Uh, Kai's looking really good too. Yeah. What's the counter pick? So counter pick's probably Battlefield? 
Yeah. Dream? No, it's not Dreamland. It's, so well, no way it'd be Dreamland. It's really bad for it. It's bad for it. Oh, FD. FD exists. We'll see you reckon they go FD? Depends on, well, it's Kai's choice, so he's battlefield FD. Well, I like, like, sounds like that platform is pretty getting pretty hard. Yeah. But I think Kai's a platform gamer. Kai is very much a platform gamer, so we'll see. Look at that hat, uh, that cap that Kai's got on. He's got like two caddies on the There's so many layers to Kai's outfit. Yeah. Just style upon Just style. Layers. It really is. He's steezy, bro. Steezy. Hopefully one day we'll get some of the, um, the new, new blood SA members, like Polion. Polion? Yeah. yeah. Bezos, down 20 back one day. Bezos. <laughs> Top tier Bezos. Maybe we'll just get Jeff Bezos down 20 back. Yeah. He what flies his spaceship to SA. <laughs> That'd be hype, dude. Just doing an evac, like, what are you doing here? Just like, uh, boys. But guys, how would you like to work at Amazon? It's not slave labor. <laughs> <laughs> just a, comes to evac to literally just... Hire people. You get your own truck. How cool is that? Oh, Piss Hands unfortunately knocks out the tournament. He hears his own. <laughs> Piss uh, Hands. <laughs> That's ridiculous, man. Yeah, you know, uh, Tish, Tish uses the um, name Piss Hands on Netflix. It's Dr. Bob, so like this weird yellow that looks like this. Piss Hands. Oh, catch oh, it. Oh, oh. Okay, and evens it up. Kai really needing that. Ruben with the fake missile. Makes Kai a little bit smooth. Ruben oh. not covering ledge, couldn't have seen that coming. <laughs> oh, but come on. Kai going <laughs> Joey Cape, thank you for the follow by the way. Sorry I missed that. Hey, I will say, like, he actually covers stuff, so like he covers most of the high angles when he covers high, which is better than the rest of the guys. So, yeah. It's hard. Falco side big goes faster. That's all I said about that. Oh no. Nah, I think it's fine. But we'll see. Think? Kai's being yeah. really good off the ledge. Kai, with like timing that, timing those aerials and timing the refresh, all really good. You, in order to get out of that getting dead there, you have to like SDI to the left and like tech at the perfect yeah, time to get the wall yeah. curve. Ooh. I don't know, Kai look, both players looking like they've warmed up in this set. Yeah. Which is really cool to see. Well, Kai's been generous and been a really good TO, and he has, didn't just didn't have time to uh to settle, well, to practice, sorry. So. Kai ready for losers. Ruben also ready for Oh, And he goes. This is tournament life for Kai. It feels I don't feel as good about taking Ruben to FD as I think I should. I think he does enough dumb stuff on the platform to catch him up. I have my gear right? yeah. I actually miss them not being here because then he doesn't do the dumb things on the platform. <laughs> I feel that way about a lot of gamers. Charge F Smash would have killed that. So yeah, that's fine. Take your 20%. Now he's in down tilt range. Now he's in F smash range. He's just gonna play this so oh, slow. That that was uh, that was a greedy wave dash down smash. Really smart. Mm. <laughs> Patient gamers, Ooh. and he's gone. He loses the, the charge shot out. as well. This is tournament life for both players. This is a great set. Actually. Yeah, game five last stock. Both oh. super oh. even. Catches him in the air. Hits gets him with bomb. 50. Gets sixty. Oh, gets screwed out of the spin attack. Hits out of the oh, screw attack, up comes up throw. Falco's just getting too edgy, bro. Like, I've read you like five times, I'm just the fourth match, and now they're just like, like, Nangs is oh. in game of pose, he hits him with the up tilt, and it's gone! Oh, that was, I felt that foot. Woo! God, Stamish is seven on me, I mean, what? Good games. That was such good shit from both right, Kai thank and you. I'll be signing out for now, so if someone wants to take over. Anyone want to take over comms? No, oh, someone will do it. What's is this Lisa Semis? Is this Lisa Semis? Or? Semis? Pardon? Starting up, we've got Catherine versus Brad. Not every day you get a quality game like this. We have Kai back. What's up? 
thank you all for watching so, so far today. It's been a sick tournament. It has great bracket, great players. Oh, yeah. That was I a mean, good pretty set. shitty commentary, but no, you know, no, no, we no, live. Fine, mate. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I think they're doing hand warmers now. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Um, yeah, that was a good ass set. That was so good to watch. That was a good set. Almost had it, but that's all right. Just, all I can say is, didn't expect a second up tilt, bro. Right? Yeah. There's, there's no, nothing else I can say. I'm just like, yep, you got me. You got me good, in fact. Nangs is just an unpredictable gamer. Mm. Uh, these are in the run court, so we can do that. Alright, I'm just gonna adjust the camera a little bit. Alright. Yeah, thank you all for watching. Yeah. This has been a really good tournament. Happy to have everyone here. This is fun. So, uh, quite a lot to go. So, uh, stick around. Finals are going to be great. We have two really, two people really, really, really dedicated to uh, to beat each other. Muscat and uh, McLeod. Big grudge. I mean, a fun essay grudge, but a grudge nonetheless. So, stick around. Be good. Thank you all for watching. Okay. And we get into uh, a highly anticipated losers' quarters set, right? Mm. Between Big Scrat Daddy and Catherine. Catherine's had a really good run this tournament. She's been playing really, really well. You know what? You know what it is? What is it? She's not getting hit. She's actually gotten way better at like not biting at, at stuff. Essentially, mm. like that's the big difference I feel. And we're into it. Game one. It's exciting. Uh, it feels so good to be at the tournament and I can just sit. And, yeah. and commentate and watch the stream that I put on. Exactly. It's awesome. Alright, right off stage though. Melee's Looking. so much better in person. Oh god damn, right? It's so much better. It's so much better. So I appreciate fun. online. It's just that like... The energy. E everyone's only playing for like 30 minutes at a time, you know? Yeah. I miss those like sessions where you just play melee with someone for like an hour and a half and you just chat shit. <laughs> talk about the game every once in a while. It's really good. This is actually pretty close right now. Uh, see if Brad, yeah, he takes the first stop of game one. Sitting at 102%. Let's see what uh, what he can get off. He, I reckon he's just gonna laser spam Peach. Let's see what he can get that way. She's gonna pull Turnip. Oh, this is so... Are you gonna get a timeout? Okay, it took 60% and gets bad for it. Catherine's not having any of it. Caught in the vortex, let's see what she does with this. It's gonna go high again and he gets on the platform. It's pretty safe. Wish two grabs. I always love watching Brad play. It's fun to play against and to, and to watch. He's, uh, He's got a very unique take on the way Fox moves, I feel. Yeah. He's not like interested in really camping with dash dance too much. He's just got good ass aerials, good ass full hops, and then he knows when to grab you most of the time. Most of the time. Actually, his down tilt is nice, I will say. I will, I will uh, respect, I'll recognize. Oh, nice. Wow. Oh, this was almost a really good edge guard. Yeah, yeah there nice. it is. There it is. Very nice. Very nice. I should report that if that's not in the bracket already, actually. Yep. Everyone's so good today. Oh my god. Yeah, people, people are so good. gaming. Let's go, SA. I'm so happy that, um, you know, it, it took us a while, but we're finally not, uh, everyone's finally not all calling us buses. That reset. Yeah, oh. it's, it's good to have, like, loads of people back again. Mm. Okay, nice down smash. Yes, that was so good. That was such good shield pressure. She followed him onto the platform and then did that. That's nutty. That was another down smash there if I ever saw one, but it's okay. 
Catherine's flying away in. Oh, reverse fair. She's been catching people out a lot. They keep jumping into like the oh bottom of the platform and getting hit with there. This turnip. It just does not stop. Oh, it just <laughs> ran out then. Never mind. Oh, just Nair Train holding in, caught out. Nair no, no, was active for so long. It was like it had the uh, the strong hitbox for so long. Oh, wow. I thought Brad was going to lose a stock to Battlefield then. Not going to lie. Oh, not the best DI, I will say. Game on goes to Brad. He's still done. Alright, well played so far. Alright, FOD. I know uh, Catherine really likes the stadium. I, I bet they're going to go stadium next, but I know Catherine really, really likes FOD. And I mean, it's nice to look at, but horrible to play. <laughs> I love the music. It's nice, I guess. It's just I feel like I, I, it's one of the most inconsistent stages for me. Like, I think I just play like shit all the time. Just, like, you're a spacey, it's nice, platforms. in yeah. my opinion. In my opinion, if you're a spacey, you shouldn't really have to complain about FOD because it's... Like, at least for Falco, right? I like having Falco's uh, really nice hitboxes on this stage because you, you have a lot of opportunities to poke them through the platform. Yeah. And also, in the age that we're living in where everyone's like ASDI down, slide off, you know, having these platforms at all these different heights just means you get out of hit stun quick. Oh my god! Brad just Man. gets to walk away with that? Crazy, bro. I'm just gonna. A little closer. I'm just gonna do like that for you. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, it's way better. Cool. Yeah. I'm sure you can hear me a bit clearer now. Yeah. And I can hear <laughs> you better. Well, it's, it's, uh, I don't think anyone's really, uh, noticed the masks, like the muffling or anything, so it's really good. I mean, commenta commentary has been clear. Uh, probably not concise, but clear. It's been good. You can hear the bullshit, that's what I'm saying. You can hear the bullshit. Stratos just could. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Not allowed. I'm so surprised that, that this is how Brad is going to take the stock, but he I spoke too soon. Yeah, yeah, you didn't get the back. Oh, there we go. Ugh. So that up air actually clipped Catherine trying to do a back air out of hit stun. Pretty nuts. Yeah. I'm liking what I'm seeing with these full hops, though, from Bradley. Oh, great drill. Is she just gonna go out there? No. Nah. Oh, he always goes high. He always goes high. I think you can as Fox. You reckon? I think. Well, unless you're at this specific height where you can kind of hit Peach's head at the ledge, I don't think going to the ledge is a good idea because even though Fox up is really big, Peach oh. Fair is like big enough to like beat it cleanly. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that. Just had to get the Stone Cold Stare in there. It's a thousand yard, yeah. Brad has stared into the Abyss, called Peach, and then stared back at him. The Abyss said... The abyss yeah. said no, the Abyss said... Dur, 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 dur. Oh, <laughs> she used to jump. One more shine. Oh, he drifts out just a little bit at the wrong angle. Oh, oh. This is so close, dog. This is so close, dog. Oh, what the? Oh, she lives? This is nuts. Yeah. This is nuts. Before it comes out, she's just going to call it out with confidence. Oh, oh that's going to be it. Sometimes the back air is nice. Sometimes the back air is nice. That was nutty. That was a nutty game. It was. Where do you think they're going to go game three? Well... If I were to wager a guess, if I were a betting man, I would say... <laughs> Wait, who won that last game? Catherine. I'm surprised. Wait, no, no. I was going to say Stadium because Scraddles won that. Yeah. Sorry. Scraddles turned to pick. That's what I meant. I was going to say Stadium because it's Fox. It's Fox stage. Oh, yeah. man. Great neutral. Great neutral from Scraddles. Getting caught up right there. Another one. McLeod was saying earlier that uh, Catherine uses Bear really, really well. And I think it shines in this matchup. Yeah. She uses, yeah, she uses neutral a lot. Okay. And Ooh. it like catches, oh, it catches out uh, Brad's sick down tilts. All oh, right. That was stinky. 
That was a stinky up smash. <laughs> yeah, he did like hard up smash to run up, uh, run up, don't get the up smash. Oh, that was a shine grab if I ever saw one. Might have just missed up the execution. Big chance for yeah, uh, Catherine to even it up here. Good shit to Catherine. Just walks, doesn't get anything out of it. Brett's playing well, I yeah. gotta say. We stank so far back, just not engaging. And he's dodging the turnips. Yeah. Yeah, wow, look at this. I'm expecting a down smash scene there from Catherine, but she can't really crouch cancel at this percent. Wow, no Ugh. DI, yeah, no DI. You gotta you got hit that eventually, I feel. Yeah. He's just running away and just spamming. Because if he tries to approach uh, Peach when she has low percent, he's just gonna get crouch cancelled into our uh, dance man. He's get caught in the vortex, man. It's hard to get out. Also, it feels really shitty. It's like listening to your alarm. It just <laughs> feels shitty. Oh, big up there. <laughs> he Boom. almost power shielded on the way down. Brad Schmoove in this game. He's schmoving. Is this loses quarters or loses standard? He doesn't lose quarters. So uh, he is still best of five, right? But yeah. Yeah, so did I. What uh, what percent is Fox up smash kill on Peach? You're uh, you're asking a uh, Cargo Man that question. Yeah, but... Do you think I know what what percent an up smash kills as a Falco? <laughs> Dude, you're just solely mistaken. It's Blue Fox. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're heading into game four now, and so it's Catherine's pick. We're going to Yoshi's. Oh no. I don't know about this pick, dog! I don't. I don't I... know about this pick! She was dying to up smash his left, right, and center on stadium. Yeah. So, this stage is only gonna, like, exacerbate that. Because she can also die off the sideways easier as well. Yeah, maybe she feels like she can play on the platforms a little more. And, uh, use that down smash that she's been using to catch people in the approaching. Mm. She does it a lot. Works really well. Nice. Does get anything off Kat's playing pretty good though. All yeah, times. I think she's been playing really, really well. Well, maybe the reason why she took Scrattles to this stage is because of where on the stage last game Scrattles was kind of holding, mm. and he was really like using the length of the stage to his advantage. It's just that like I don't know. You just as a floaty, dying really early on the stage hurts. Good movement from Scrattles so far. Oh, okay, chill. And this stage is the only stage I beat Muscat on, so but I hate it. You know? <laughs> so I have a really love hate relationship with this stage. Oh, it's gonna get bear. No, nah. goes low, and runs up the side. We're back in the field again as well. I think uh, another thing about this stage is that Brad actually doesn't have a a lot, he still has some, but he doesn't have a lot of room to just spam lasers like he was doing with like, the stadium. Yeah, that's why I like, think Catherine yeah. actually, actually picked the stage, because Brad was shooting the gun. Yeah. I think that's probably what's happened. Because he got like a stock or two just out of spamming lasers. Yeah, yeah, smash. yeah. But I mean, I'm smash just kills so early. Either the way, uh, Somehow Catherine's, Catherine's still winning, yeah. yeah. Despite what we're saying. Yeah, I guess her defense has just stepped up. Playing a lot of people online, you're gonna you're gonna be able to like get pretty good at like learning how to take a hit. Yeah. Back to the lasers from Scrattles though. Cast neutral is like pretty good for a second if, until like she gets an aerial and then like nothing off of it. Mm. Like she's playing the like the ground game. Uh, oh, no, it's, we've got oh a Randy. Oh. <laughs> nice, nice. That's it. Yeah, he's dead. Wow, real shit. 
Wow, dude. Oh, oh nice. no, the vortex. Damn, Catherine making this stage all of her own. <laughs> she frying pan. If that was golf cup, it would have hit. Like, it would have poked and everything. You think? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Maybe even if she was, like, on the top of the uh, the little slope, mm. the pan would have hit and poked. Yeah, Catherine really starting to challenge straddles now. Oh, that hurts. Oh, oh my god, Catherine's actually all over Scrattles this game. I'm not gonna lie. Damn, there it goes. I ain't gonna lie. That pick. Yep, it's 2 2. Yeah. Game 5. Wow, that's insane. Where are they gonna go now? Uh, Battlefield? This is an FD pick for. Oh, no, 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 surely not. Yeah. Um, Dream Dreamland? Land? No way. <laughs> <laughs> These stage picks are top of Derby. Dreamland. Yeah, I mean, if Scrattles is going to commit to the gun, then like, go yeah. for it, but let's yeah. see how this goes. Oh, oh no way, that You killed. can't afford to be doing those. Last rough. game. Rough, rough, rough. That's, uh, that's a lot of mental damage right there for Catherine. And he's just going to spam the gun, I bet. Oh, it gets killed in the Vortex. Nice edge guard. Goes high again. Catherine was kind of all over this edge guard for a second, but then... Yeah. Oh, and another drop! It's okay, Parasol saves. God, this song's so catchy, man. I've heard it so many times. It never gets old to me, but it's also like... I hate it. <laughs> it's also, like, I do get sick of it from, like, just playing so much. Well, especially because like, I play oh, Pathway nice. here at Son. That was a good ass back air from Catherine, just mm. barely outside of the ledge dash range. Oh my god, just eating it on that platform. Let's see what she can do with it though. I don't think Brad's gonna have a hard time killing, but <laughs> it looks like 60%. There it goes, there's it there. Nice. Brad's gonna wanna have to just play the gun for these next two stocks, I think. Because he has, he has the room to do it, but. I mean, he's lost. I believe. Just lame it out. Lame it out. Peach is going to pull turnips. You're going to use guns. Yeah, Catherine's having such a hard time at catching uh, straddles on this stage, actually. Just look at how he's moving with these full hops and going to the top platform. Like, he's going to the top platform, Catherine's following, and then... Uh, and then, like... Scrattles just heads to the other side platform and she can't keep up. Yeah. Oh, nice punish. Good punish on the gap. It's there. It's there. Dot eyes. Get something. Oh, great footsies. Gets two nets from it. Oh, I was expecting shield. Sorry, shine grab. Shine grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was expecting the, the classic crouch cancel up smash on the ledge. Oh, just getting this extra damage from these lasers. But Catherine also doing the same. Yeah. Edging her way back to center. Damn. Let's see what Brad's gonna get out of this. Nice! <laughs> that was sick. That was so good. That was so sick. Catherine's living. Oh, no punish on that dash attack though. Yeah, and, and Scrattles really has stopped like moving around the platform as much. Oh, right, here we go. Catherine on tournament live. This is not so. Just gonna take the time. Yeah, wow, well, like, Scrattle's literally just going for it. Yeah, just waving waving and grooving and making sure Catherine doesn't get near him. Oh, uh, Catherine needs some down smashes right now, though. Yeah, he's not He's not going to the platform. Yeah. Oh my god, what uh, a punish. Uh, Are you kidding me? It's this like punish is nuts. 40%. Yep, he's just not going to the platform. Yeah. He's not doing it. Why would he? He can just, he can use the gun, man. Doing these baits with the uh, the shot hop into double jump. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. I don't think there's a jump. Yeah, this is it. Oh! Careful. She gets back. Careful. This is everything. 
Oh my god. That, oh, that out comes the net. Almost, was almost it, but... That's it. Oh, here we go. One arm smash is going to do it. Dude, look, she's going to pull a bomb. One arm smash is going to do it. Oh, oh no DI. Oh, the pop off. Right, the GG's pop off. Guys. GG's. GG's, guys. Damn. Wow. Damn, damn, damn. That was such a good set. That was so good. I was, was really so rooting good. for Catherine at the end. Congrats, Brad. Good job, everyone. <laughs> good um, shit, Kath. Who's up next? Uh, we have winner's finals up now. Winner's finals. Yeah, so, so pop that in. I'm just going to adjust the cams. Yep. That was really good. What a fun game. Good shit from both players. All right, winners finals. We have McLeod versus Muscat. This is big. They're both hungry. They're starving. They're lions. They've been left in the cage for too long, and they're out for blood. Where's McLeod? Ah, oh, the man of the hour. It's McLeod. He wants to win so bad. Oh god, yeah. He is starving. <laughs> Never seen a man so hungry before. He's emaciated. <laughs> you can see his ribs through his clothes. Look at him. Out for blood. And here he comes. <laughs> This is everything right now, dude. If uh, if McLeod had a theme song every time he came up to play a game, what do you reckon it would be? Mm. Mm. I would say... No, no, he's like... No, no, it's it's just the... Um... Taylor Swift? It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it could be. It, it would be like Bad Blood. Bad Blood? Yeah. yeah. But not really. I think... um. Anytime he walks up to the stream, we should just play the Avatar The Last Airbender opening. Yeah. Water. <laughs> fire. <laughs> well, he'd like, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm thinking like, uh, you know, the rocks theme? Like, can you smell what the rock's cooking? Because, you know, he's into oh, bouldering. Yeah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Can yeah, you smell yeah. what McLeod's cooking? Look at him. Oh, yeah, you're right. Dedicated gamer. And Muscat would probably have like... Uh, he listens to Taylor Swift while he plays? Let's go. Is that true? Let's go melodic. This may or may not be fake news, but let's fucking go. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, looks like All we're right. getting into it. Dreamland game one. Let's hit it. Hit it! Yeah, this. Oh. It's a warm-up, ladies and gentlemen. We love oh. to see it! Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! <laughs> Winners finals, it's a big deal. He sung it to you and chat after you got upset. Oh, that's nice, man. That's my cloud play. <laughs> well, this one's for all the marbles. You guys are good to start whenever you're ready, but I'm just chilling. Shout out to the gamers on stream competing for first, second, third right now. This is a big matchup ahead, dude. It is. This is literally a big Well, match. I mean, McLeod has been shit talking so much. Has he? Yeah. In a fun way, you know. Well, if he was doing that, then, like, the least he could have done is brush his hair. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a power move. No, well, you actually, yeah, you're right. Remember when, like, Dr. PB would talk about, like, yeah, having a beard is actually, like, part of an intimidation tactic? For real? That's what he said. It was, well, it was a while ago now, like five years ago. But like, you know, I think a beard's like, part of an intimidation tactic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's it. All right. Let's get into it. Woo! When is finals? By the way, everyone, thank you for watching so far. Please let us know if the audio has uh, been great so far. I think it has been. So I appreciate y'all hanging out. Appreciate Fiction with the host. If you enjoy the South Australia Smash Contact, please follow the stream and also follow all of our social media. But enough about that. There's a 
winners finals match to watch. And McLeod already. It's a big one already. They're going to Dreamland game one. I think this is pretty typical for this matchup. Yeah, it's the best you can, it's the best you can get from these two games. Yeah. Uh, so. Fox gets to run around a little bit. And, you know, Big Mate. Uh, Big Mate fucking Peach gets to live for a while. So it, it kind of balances out in the end, you know? Yeah, I mean, 155. She's not going anywhere. Nice air dodge. I'm surprised McLeod's held onto the stock as long as he has. So am I, but I mean, he's, he is slippery. Slipping. He's slipping. He's slipping. Alright, first stock goes to Muscat. Oh, right in the vortex. Both these players want this win really, really bad. Uh, oh, it'll be interesting funny. to see who goes to losers finals and who they play in losers finals. But. Well, they'll they have to play the winner of um, Scrattles and Nags. So if I was a betting man, I would say Nags. But Scrattles been playing nice today, so he has. who knows? By the way, everyone, you can check out the bracket by typing exclamation mark bracket in the chat as well. It's a killer bracket. It's it's full of killers. It's loaded. Speaking of. Ah, uh, must get able to land it out on the ledge. Makes the next stop. Let's see. Damn, he is playing right now. Plus, it's really clean, I'll be yeah. honest. He's a grinder. But, I mean, McLeod's put in so much work this year. Last oh, year too. That's a so such much. a bad stock to lose for Musket. Yeah. Oh, he actually blocks all of those. That's insane. McLeod, though, fighting back even after this. Hit by the get up attack. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, that hurts. Why do these guys sound British but different? Because you're from uh, Australia, And dude. we're from South Australia, which has probably the most British dialect. Uh, well, I'm from New South Wales. Uh, ha happy to have you here, can I just say. Can I happy, very happy to have you here. Yeah. Like New Zealand or some shit. Yeah, well, I mean, a little you're bit, yeah, close. a little bit. From the upside down, Australia. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Moscat versus McLeod. <laughs> that's like kind of uh, that's like that's, like, that's like north. That's northern. Yeah. That's like north, right? <laughs> and right now, Moscat's just laying on so much pressure. You don't know what McLeod's gonna be able to do about this. Oh fucking hell, man! He's getting oh, fucking smacked around, man. We live in a global society now, guys. Everyone influences everyone else. Oh, damn! Oh, he's living! He's not going anywhere. It's fine. It's okay, he's back on stage. That's just a little airborne. He's still good. Ah, oh, he back here. Nice. Gamma good goes game. to Muscat. This is good, this is shaping up to be good. It's so hard for Peach to get out of the ledge there. Yeah. It's so hard. I feel so bad, but it's like, damn. It's Peach. Sorry, bro. Sorry, that's that's how it be. McLeod tweeting out his rage. Fox is a fucking bullshit character. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's um, he's uh switching from uh twenty two to um. Red now on his iPod. <laughs> he, he's he's changing albums. Yeah, he's popping in Tay Tay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift for uh, taking the power back into her own hands and redoing all of her albums. Did she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, real? so like her producer, like still own, like her label or like rec or like producer, still own the rights to the uh, the masters that they created back in the day. Really? Yeah, yeah. So she's like, fuck it, I'll just re-record it. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, record companies are fucking thieves. Some are okay, but you know, we live in a society. Oh, yeah, damn. we live in a society. That's it. He answered all the questions. Nice job. Hang on, sorry. We live in a capitalist society. That's that's the real shit, actually. Oh, this is everything. Oh, good ass tech. He goes high. I was expecting dash attack. He really got greedy enough to damn. go for the grab. Oh my god, he's still moving around, move. Yeah. What? That stuffed it out. 
what happened? Damn, big fail. I think he just uh, nared and it traded with like the start of up air. Yeah, it, it yeah. traded with first hit up air. What? Nice. Jab, Dub jab, up smash. Double jab from Fox. So hard. McLeod is very good, getting very good at versus. He's just getting very good. It's yeah, scary. me and McLeod definitely probably do the most in terms of like uh, ASDI reversals and like acting out of um, hit stun reversals. We probably have the most developed like counterplay um, in terms of like matchups, but Musket's like probably right up there as well. Yeah. I think me and Musket are probably about the same for that. Oh no. Here it goes. <laughs> See you guys in 15 Let's minutes go, when this shit McLeod. ends. Dude, this is the um, this is the melee player bouldering pipeline in action. <laughs> you know how many melee players end up bouldering? It is. I've been asked to boulder like three or four times. It's like exactly the first session's free, bro. It's like I'll do it. Yeah, I pass one like every every week, and I'm like, damn, looks sick. Always wanted it. Oh my god, he just full hop late Ned. Who let this man do that? Damn. Oh, this is such Caught a big punish. Oh, look crouch at that cancel. crouch cancel. He, oh, he didn't get anything off the down air. That's all right. This is this can be death. Yeah, well, I mean, this dash shit is so ready? lame. Ready? Dash attack? Grab. Dash, dash attack. attack. Oh, smash it, yeah. There you go. Boom. Damn. That was a clean game. This is a very clean game from the cloud. Bringing it to 1-1. One, one. This is, I think this is gonna be another game five, bro. Yeah, so do I. M Muscat takes a sip of his almond milk. It's ready for the next one. Yeah, it it's looks coconut like coconut water. water. Yeah, it's yeah, coconut yeah, I'm like, that's not almond milk. <laughs> they come with the same carton. We're not having an activating almonds moment. <laughs> yeah. We're not doing yeah. that. Why? Well, yeah. That was, uh, that's old news. That's, that's old, old SA law. That's, that's old, um, Smash commentary law. <laughs> Damn, uh, Musket's vertical footsies on this stage are kind of sick, though. Yeah, it's a big claw. Is it actual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's um, Kalen and Microsoft J were commentating a match, and Kalen's like, "Yeah, I used to work at like a, a nutrition store, right?" And to activate almonds, you soak them in water. And then MSJ's like, but how does that activate them? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? It's like, you, well, it, like, it gets rid of the coating on the almonds, and so it becomes activated. And it's like, yeah, but how does... What? It's just a very choice word for taking the skin yeah. off an almond. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's like, you can't say you cook the almond, because that's a different thing. Yeah, and you can't quite say you're, like, stripping the almond, because, I mean, you're not really stripping it. Yeah, you're just watering it down. You're just activating it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was so good by McLeod. He held center, waited for the full length ledge dash out from National Market. What? And he fucking... He missed. <laughs> yeah, tough, <bro. laughs> really? Sorry for your loss, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, bro, but... My son. Sounds like a year problem. <laughs> well, so, oh whoa. my god, he wasn't invincible enough. Damn. Ever like, ever lose games because you weren't perfect enough? That's, yeah, that's this game. Every game you lose. Every game. Yeah. <laughs> that's this game every game. Oh, two net? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. damn. That feels so bad. McLeod, hit him. That feels hands. so bad. I knew I should have put on Kanye. That's what he's thinking. Donda is still not out, by the yeah, way, guys. Still yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up. But. <laughs> no, I'm bringing it up. <laughs> it's been a year. Not that I care. Oh, wow. Musk is playing so great. Yeah. Oh, my God. Musk is moving so well. McLeod cannot find his way yeah. in. Oh my god. How did goodness. he get that second, that third nair? Eight three nairs. Yeah, not much Peach can do in that situation with the ledge. And boom. Damn. It's called, right. This could have been avoided if you just hit that edge guard earlier. The card's got to pull off some crazy shit. Now. Unfortunately, he's just stuck in the corner. Oh, nice yeah. though. Red. Hard red. Damn. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you see those reversals? 
I'm not gonna talk about it because it happened so quick, but damn. That's it. <laughs> Never mind, guys. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe his lies. Oh my god. <laughs> Sipping down that coconut water. Do you like coconut water? I think it's mad overrated. Can't say I've had it. Can't say I, I have anything to say about it. It's rough to drink, man. It tastes like, uh... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god! This is such a good shot. One more time. Oh, he tried to finish it. That Nesh should have hit. Like, uh, Musket peeked over the ledge a little bit. Yeah. Somehow missed. Alright. Fod being the source in this matchup, it seems. Yes! Do it again. Oh it. my god, McLeod Jesus, combo. Jesus. He covered so much! And then he doesn't Nair, he does down air. Nair would have totally been active enough. That's okay. He's playing well. Careful, buddy. Oh, oh. no. He, good refresh from Buscat, though. Like, that was clutch. Damn, that sucks, bro. Raw C, 2 liter coconut water is bomb. You got your fucking priorities mixed up. I don't have to tell you. After all that, though, like, not, uh, McCart doesn't walk away too scarred, but, like, that is a 54% stock that uh, Peach doesn't get to crouch cancel on, yeah. really. Damn. Oh, no, he's going to keep Diaper side. No, uh, he'll be fine. If it was... Uh, if, yeah, if Musket just did, like, one more wave shine, it would have. Mm. Oh, damn. damn. And he's even it up. This is such a close set. If yeah, this, every game. I mean, this definitely going to be a reset in this, I think. In this tournament. Like, a grand finals reset. Whoever makes it. Pull one out for all the stummies <laughs> at the venue. <laughs> who don't get to go to dinner. It's going to be a long one. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a long one, I think. We've got this set. Loser semis, losers finals, grand finals. Possibly two sets of grand finals. Yeah. And I can't believe Musket has pulled ahead right now. <laughs> I literally can't believe it. Big man. Miss oh, Satin look, on deck. Miss, he doesn't and he want throws it. him away. He does not want it. We had a, a Mr. Satin live for almost a minute. That's his way. He walked on like both the platforms and they hit him back onto the other platform. So <laughs> He's oh, so no. sick. Musk is playing this stuff so good. Oh, oh no. no! It's okay, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> we have a chance. He's stuck in shield, he's stuck, stuck in Yeah, ledge. he tries to get up, but it's just too slow. 3-1 to Muscat. Damn. Dropping McLeod into the loser's bracket. So up next, we got Nengs and Scrattles. Big. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the content and you haven't used your monthly Twitch Prime, it would mean a lot if you smashed that subscribe button. <laughs> Smash it. Nangs versus Scray Daddy. I mean, except for the ages, really. Who's I'm so happy playing? these guys are playing on stream and lose the semis. So am I. One of these guys gets to go home with money. Not both of them. <laughs> and pride. And pride. What's it? Don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> So we got the dual dice tag. I didn't think there was going to be an E after that C. E. E. Remember e. when memes were just like E? Yeah, it had a picture of like Markiplier's <laughs> face on Lord Farquaad. <laughs> Shrek. Yeah. Dude, people shit on Markiplier so much. It's unreal. Look. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, I gotta Dick respect tag. the I yeah. gotta I gotta respect the guy. <laughs> Look, the only um the only my the, my only criticism of Markiplier is a. Uh, just don't don't try to be PewDiePie, bro. That's all I'm saying. But he's he's a good guy. I think I think he's a nice dude. Just too playing green. Nice. Okay. Lose the semi time. And yeah, we got the Falcon out from next set. Uh, pretty big. Pretty big. Pretty epic. These guys are gonna just hit each other. Dude. Yeah. They just love throwing oh. out. They love throwing out hitboxes. I absolutely hate 
NTSC Fox down smash. I it it gives me whiplash at how much hit stun it puts you in. Just hate NTSC Fox. It's like it does more knockback, more damage, and more hit stun. It's ridiculous. It's like oh, oh nice. Uh, I was talking to Musket earlier, and he was saying that Nanks has been playing a lot of Falcon because he's thinking about switching. Is that the case, or is it just a matchup thing? Like, he plays Falcon for some matchups. I think he plays both, right? Like, yeah. Um, the reason why he probably played Samus versus me is because Falco versus Falcon is... Um, tough. It's tough, because the combos are so free. Yeah. Um, so if, uh, you know, if you don't get comboed, it's a bit easier sometimes. Yeah. You just have to be really on point if you try and play that matchup. And you have to be like re really ready to act out of place against stuff. Oh, the hard read going to center on the roll, and Nang's gonna even it up. It was looking good for Brad real quick there. What's he gonna get off that? He tried to forward smash. Oh my god, he's too cocky. He's too cocky. Let's get cocky. No up smash. She just go for an air but gets the off hit. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Alright. Doesn't get anything out of his invincibility. They are just throwing hitboxes. Oh, the rando name. The names. I thought that was a, uh, a ledge hop knee for sure. Nice slide off there, actually. That net was clutch. He gets the other opposite oh, side of the ground Oh, nice. Very nice. Nangs takes game one, just barely though. Brad inspecting his controller. Yep, it's a controller. What? <laughs> He's inspecting the controller. Yeah. He looks at it and he's like, yep, it's a controller. I think it's a GameCube one. <laughs> I think sure. it's a GameCube controller. <laughs> All right, game two. Thanks, hey, looks sick, it does. Oh my God, yeah, I'm so low. <laughs> 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 Not even kidding. Thanks, he's committed to the bond, man. Nice. Look, let's just all grow out our hair. I've done that before. That said, I do want to get a haircut. Yeah, I, I definitely need a haircut. Growing out your hair is a, uh, it's an ordeal, man. Especially if you're uh, a wog like me and it's just so, so Solidarity. thick. Solidarity. Yeah. Such ridiculously thick hair, man. So I bleached mine like last year. Yeah. And I bleached it and uh, I'm trying to bleach it a few more times this year. And now like the hair's starting to like split, right? So I have to get a haircut. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise it's going to... Gonna cause damage. Yeah, my brother's uh, his girlfriend bleached his hair, and I mean it looks dead. I mean it looks, it's so rough. Like, Mine's it's doing alright. Yeah. I got the Olaplex on deck. <laughs> Shout out to Olaplex. Big name. That was really good. What do you think? Do you think Fox like wins super hard on FD against Falcon? Or? Yes. Yeah. This is Fox's best stage in the match. Yeah, I think so too. It was a sexy name, man. Yeah, I can't really think of a better stage for Fox. Oh no! Jesus! Jesus! Oh! Oh! Style points. <laughs> It's hard to see with masks, but Nanks definitely has a big shit-eating grin under that. <laughs> that was so good, oh my god. Let's go, Brad. Oh. Doesn't die. It's barely living. Oh, there it is. 
Game two goes to Nanks as well. Brett's really got to pull this one back. Who put Nanks in losers? Uh, McLeod, right? Ah, I see. Yeah, beat him 3 0. In uh, winning supporters, I think. Yeah, SA's kind of stuck here. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Brad. I was, ex I, honest to God, expected him to wall jump China. Yeah. Oh. But Stompney. Oh my God, he got oh. it at 70. Stompney Fair looks enough. cool until he gets hit by it, and you're like, oh, it's actually free and loan. <laughs> it's actually. It's actually uh, bullshit. <laughs> Everybody wants to see Nang be McLeod. Everyone wants to see Nang. Uh, oh, wow. He missed Randy and gets whacked by that dance man. The <laughs> Brad Bombo. <laughs> Damn, he's getting smacked around. These are two gamers that love their hitboxes and uh, are maybe a little indifferent to the shield button. Nice, what's he gonna get off of it? Tries to just double jump up there, but there's no way that reaches. Yeah, Nangs is really good at it. His, uh, his Falcon is so nasty. People don't expect his Falcon to be so nasty, but... It is right. Wow, that hit gets the back hit of the up, up smash. Yeah, well, I mean, like, this is such a fast stage. Like, you can't really put a buff, like a forward play style on it. And two really, really fast characters, too. Alright, this could be big. Last stock. This is uh, Brad's tournament live. Gets him with there. He just can't get caught out by anything. If he goes above him, he's going to get caught by up there. Oh! oh this hits is him with the up air. This is everything. Oh, good shit drop. Oh, there it is. Damn. That was a good ass game. Somebody. That was really good. Well, that means we're going to have losers finals between McLeod and Nangs. Wow. This is going to be Garfield, big. you wanted it in grands, but this will do. That was nuts. Now it's a matter of whether or not we're going to see the Falcon now, or we're we going to see the Samus. Uh, what? What from this point? This is everything right now. This is the match of the tournament, and because of that, I have to break. All right. Uh, Do you feel your patience is immaculate? No, I'm good. You're good? Yeah. Okay. Just make sure. Glad you're all enjoying. Thank you so much for watching. It's great to have so many people here and we've got a great tournament, great players. Thank you, uh, Garfield and Squishy and Mark Shark, all for the follow. Sorry, I'm not keeping track of it. But thanks all so much for being here. It's great to have you. The Falcon it is. I think we're hopping straight into it. No hand warmers necessary. The clouds all warmed up. Uh, no Caleb to beat up, but he's, I don't know, I think he seems pretty comfortable playing against Falcon. gets the name. The clouds out here. Yeah, he's been growing it out, man. It's nice and curly. Ah, and Nangs takes the first stop. so well against 
just like he's uh he's not really hitting him on shield and staying there. He's really moving past, so he's not getting caught by dares. It's really good. Yeah. Almost as on point as the melee. <laughs> yeah. There is something else, man. Doesn't get the gentleman's bar. I mean, Nanks is playing really, really solid right now. Gets the weak knee. Is he going to get an edge guard off of it? There, maybe? Oh, forward tilt. This is looking so much different from when they played earlier. Oh, <laughs> the stitch. He's dead for that too. Damn. Nanx is looking so much nicer now. Remember, check out the bracket if you want to see how, uh, how the players did. We had a really good bracket. I'm just coming down to uh, the best now. Up air, up air. Doesn't get anything off of it. He tries to go for the get up attack and just gets rocked for it. Yeah, Garfield, McLeod has been grinding like no other. He's, I think he's the hardest working, probably in SA right now, to get better. He's really trying, and it's even, again. Didn't get anything off that down throw, but I don't know. Seems like McLeod's uh, getting a little more comfortable. He adapts really quickly, so. but so does Nangs. It's going to be interesting which stage they go to next and how that will affect it. McLeod's got his groove, yeah. Nice. I can't believe he got the crouch cancel there at like 60%. Oh, <laughs> he lives that. Thank you, Squishy. Yeah, we are really lucky to be playing. Uh, it's great to be here, and we've had one of the best tournaments we've had in a while, so... Fair. Oh. Gonna be able to edge guard him. That's it. There's no way he gets back from that. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Good game. So, the clown. 1-0. Kai is back. Shout right. out to Adelaide. Shout, shout out, out to Adelaide. Shout guys. out to Radelaide. The raddest of places. The raddest of blades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that first game. Uh, Tell me all about it. it. It was going really, really good for Nangs at the start, and then McLeod just completely adapted. That's and awesome. Ran it back. I do want to see uh, a Nangs win in the second game, though. So do I. Yeah, lots of love from South Australia to everyone watching. This has been a, a really good tournament thus far. And I, I honestly think we're going to see a reset grand finals. What's the chance on Nangs Samus? Not high. Not in this matchup. Yeah. I know, he seems really comfortable with his, uh, his Falcon right now, and I think he's going to be able to adapt to it. <laughs> Samus Peach is cringe for Samus. Yeah, I mean... I don't know, I mean, Nanks is such, like, a... Uh, an out there player. I think he could pull it off, but still. He's looking a little hard right now. Oh, please don't get combo. Nice. He just drops down and up airs. So, so quick. I think um, a big deciding factor is just going to be getting, uh, getting Peach to go above Falcon and then just up airing her into the void. 
works so well against uh, against floaties. Yep. Uh, oh, he hits him with the bear. Up here, up here. Okay. Oh, okay. Big name. Bear. Doesn't take him out. Ooh. Damn, my oh. fast spikes are good. Damn. Yeah, he's really feeling himself now. He's back into it. Alright, let's see if Nengsen pulls his back. But, Hard's playing so solid. He is so hungry for this win. You know what I was just saying earlier? He was shit, shit talking mad hard. So. He's starving. Oh, this is everything for Nengsen right now. Oh, that was nuts. Who's if he held out, if he held out and he got the nipple spike, that would have been insane. Uh, but, uh, oh, Muscat's. In winners, Clark takes game two, but I mean, this is still anyone's game. It really is. Uh, Rumor was like really picking it up at the end there. Not They're going Yoshi's. straight back into it to Yoshi's. Fair enough, yo. Get some good knees. Just gotta watch out for the down smashes. Some thick knees. Wow, that's so hard to deal with. He uh, like dashed immediately after CCing there, or like ASTI down there. Yeah. Hard's got insane pressure though. I gotta say. Hard work guy. He's on he's on that six minute mile grind set, dude. Can we not say that with sincerity? <laughs> Can we not say that with sincerity, please? It was facetious if okay, anyone's thank, listening. Thank fuck. It's completely facetious. As a joke, guys. Yeah. I was kidding. <laughs> oh, good pressure from Nang's though. Ah! I wonder if up air would have been faster uh, enough to like catch uh, before McLeod could have um yeah, dodge. Oh, careful. Yeah, uh, Ruben is jabbing in He's situations where McLeod is hitting him with like a down smash. Oh. Damn, two stocks down. And this is like kind of like the one chance that Nengs is going to have to to bring this set back in his favor. Did you see that call out? He goes back to stage. He floats right in front of Nengs and just Dude. whacks him. Nengs is trying for so much, but it's just not working. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's okay. He had crazy DI there. This is uh, honestly very impressive from McLeod. Yeah. Yeah, he jabbed. See how he jabbed there and he got grabbed? Uh, because, like, it was kind of uh, one of those situations where, fucking, despite being really fast on the ground, he doesn't have, like, fast actions, I guess. Yeah, really, really just outplaying him so hard. Thanks, Sock. Damn! Wow! He was, he was, he was on that he floated, sub... Yeah. I don't know if it was a sub float, but it was like literally floating center stage waiting for yeah. Nengs to come get him. Yeah, he just dropped that bear at like the perfect time. Oh, please punish just this. Whoop. Okay. Uh, fair. Wow, that really doesn't do anything. Do you think... Uh, Up has got to come here soon. Wow. Oh, fuck me. That's sad, dog. <laughs> it's no for me, dog. Okay, it's okay. okay. He actually gets a stock, thank fuck. Jesus, game uh, one went so good. <laughs> this punish from Makata. It's just really adding up in situations where, like, what Nangs is getting is like a jab, and then he's getting like a trade. Yeah. What McLeod is getting is like 40. Wow. 40 to 50 to death. Yeah. Oh, this is everything though right now. Nang's starting to get some momentum. Oh, he messes up the empty jump grab! And the back is going to cover the ledge. He drifts uh, out a little bit, but oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. All right, we have our grand final. McLeod versus Muscat. This is going to be a tight one, too. All right, guys, chill out with the... Uh, I'm going to just quickly adjust the camera. <laughs> camera adjustment time. Yep, be right back. <laughs> Goldilocks and the three bears, yeah. 
Oh yeah, McLeod's popping off. Look at him. He, he is honed in. He's in that flow state right now, man. Let's go, uh, Muscat. All right, grand finals. <laughs> Truly tuned into the Super yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the Kaiser Fingers on stream. The what? No, I just had my fingers on the camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't you worry. All right. Uh, where do you think they're going to go? We are in grand finals. We... Pardon? What did he say? He's asking if he can commentate with Yeah, me. go for it. All right, uh, putting on to Nangs now. Yeah. Thank you for having me stream. Oh my uh, god, it's happening. It this is the grand final, guys. Ah! And he gets the mic on the way out. What's good, dude? That that looked rough, by the way. Yeah, I'm surprised they got home that bad, but here we go. Oh well. It's chill. It's it is true. what it is. It is what it is. Oh, let's go for Cloud! Yeah! That's classic. Is this button change? Just like, yeah, yeah sure. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I've controlled once again. Seriously? Yeah, like, it's like when they're killing themselves for the. after the game, they made everyone yeah, like, yeah. Wait, mate, that's. I reckon that's uh, game one to be out, anyway. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it fucking sucks. It's already oh, and a, a four-star. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> it's already happened a few times today. <laughs> I, I bet if I go back on the VODs. Oh, well, yeah, I'm going to be, gonna be in the VODs right Yeah, yeah, bro. Someone's done that. Oh, my God, the patience. <laughs> yeah, the cloud's been doing those... Uh... What? Did you see that? McLeod got like pushed off stage and then like the shine hit him back onto stage and he landed so he had no hits done. Yeah, I love that. Oh what the God. fuck? His defense is so good. <laughs> How do so you hard. hit him? He's so hard to play with. That'll do it. He's genuinely so aware, actually. Yeah, he, made, he makes quick decisions, that's for sure. Well, McLeod, McLeod finally playing someone who uh, punishes punishes down smash on shield right there. So. Well, that's something, man. Yeah, that's something. That's something. <laughs> wait, he gets wait. hit by the side B. Yeah. He was actually telling me how frustrating it is playing lots of Falcos that side B from ledge and then f having to fight Fox. Yeah. You, you don't have um, You don't have the Johns on land though. I wonder if audio coming out of um, Dolphin is quicker than on CRT though. When you use the um, Wasapi audio, the exclusive mode. Maybe, I don't know. I know McLeod definitely uses that a bit. I definitely don't use that. Probably should. It just means that you're stuck all, using all, the one audio output. Yeah, all my all my experience is anecdotal like with that side B stuff. For me it just it's the way it feels. Uh oh. Do you get a tech? Oh, oh no. Okay. Doesn't need one. That's sad for McLeod right now. He really needed to take that. <laughs> oh, he's not! Why did he go for he's the trade not! though, bro? Like, <laughs> could have just grabbed ledge, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, or, literally. Or, just, or like floated by the ledge at least. Anyway, McFly has his McFly has his ways. Come on, McFly! Yeah. Musket never drops those uh, wave shines. Can you can never drop one in his life? There's that weird up air hitbox on pitch. I remember the, uh, the first set, the first set where Mitch King beats Mitch uh, King beats Armada with Fox. Oh no! Way. Armada's about to combo Mitch King to death, but um, it gets that weird sideways hitbox. Yeah, yeah. With it, and then like D1's like, 
wow, great DI for a Mewtwo King. And I'm just like, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I might have got robbed there. Like, <laughs> like when have you ever played yeah. this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Look. You know what? Fair enough, bro. He's got his bread and butter down. Mission complete. Hey. It's a cheese. It's a cheeky little one zero. <laughs> FD time. I don't know if I'm just playing the cloud in friendlies and he doesn't want to chain grab, but usually he tries to add a bit more source to it with like dash attacks and stuff, but. I didn't really watch the winner set. Musket's clean. not bad, dude. He's chilling. Hey, he's got the Sigma Gamer, Sigma Male Mind grind set, right? I'm not saying that in sincerity. Once I again. don't know what that is. That's what he's on right now, apparently. Okay. What, what, what is that mind set? Sigma Male is... Uh, I can't you, you, don't have to, you don't have to I'm tell me. Gonna, you don't I'm have to tell me. Yeah, don't it's do just it. like it's like when people are like the Alpha Male, the Omega Male, the Beta Male. It's like the Sigma Male prefers to travel in alone and he to achieve his goals that kind of thing yeah look i kind of wish you didn't tell me that right now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cringe oh that's good refresh no, oh nice. this holds out yeah, it'd be hard to react like always it can be hard just like reacting to the back air or like or just like always holding in and trying to DI out because then like sometimes you don't get out of the ground here. Mm. He gets up throw up here. Another grab. I remember the best skill about RJ is when I watched him. Is he never got up throw up here. He'd, you know he'd, what? He'd, he'd True. always get out of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big thing. Can he finish it? Oh, I hate that. He just rolls, roll, shine up, smash. Lysol Sigmas are on that Grussel. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Wait, did we fight with the first game? No. Yeah, no, okay. no, no, no. Okay. He just lost that day, so. She. Maybe I should be playing Samus against McLeod. No. It's hard to tell, man. I think Falcon's really, really good against Peach, yeah, obviously, same. but like, it all comes back to like, do you want to get hit less? Then maybe play Samus. Yeah. If you can't hit him like just as hard, because McLeod's got really good punish at the moment. Yeah. True. Oh, that was almost really good. McLeod looking way better on this game though. Oh my god. That's death. That's insane. Not, not out of, not able to SDI out of it. I think it's gonna. Be, why is he going with the Nairs? But the spot dodge makes it work out. I don't, I don't like these full hop Nairs, but he hasn't been. They're not doing anything, but he hasn't been punished for it yet. Up the edge. He's so clean, man. He'll never miss a he'll never miss a wave shine off smash, even when it's turned around. I always wondered how Muscat likes to practice melee. Um, I I know he does net play. I know he like plays people in the high level chat and whatnot, yeah. right? But like using the Caleb tag. Wait. <laughs> uh, a lot of people in SA smurf with the Caleb tag. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. See, sometimes I play the yeah. Peach with Caleb tag, yeah. and I'm like, is this Catherine or is this McLeod? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. Because they play the Daisy color as well. I'm like, ah, oh, this sucks. Either way. Either way. Both Daisies are really good. Oh, wow. Martin, the funniest story about it is when I was, I was playing Captain Falcon with, um, and I was playing Jigglypuff with the Caleb Ted. <laughs> and then, and then I, um, I run into someone, the unnamed, but he's in the high level melee. And he's like, GG's Caleb. You play the same with every character, man. And I'm just like, yeah. That's so glorious. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, there's literally seven different people playing as the Caleb <laughs> Ted right now, so. The hive mind? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Caleb today, bro? Didn't make it. That's sad. That's all right. I was really happy to see um, Miley, though. And he's yeah. got a sick mark. He's actually got a nice mark. Is he still here? I didn't, need, I didn't even say good day to him. I can't see him. No, OK, yeah. Well, well McLeod on the board. By the way, um, Musket is in winners, FYI. And McLeod's got to win, too. Pokies? You got a pokies? That's right. Ready? More stage to wave shine on. Getting hit by those four-hop drills when you're trying to pressure is so rough. It's gotta hurt when you're like McLeod expecting to need, like power trip D smash as well. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. How did dash attack trade like that, actually? This could be the stock. Alright, does it quite get it? Yeah. yeah. No, dash attack's so hard to get out of the up air from the dash attack. Dude, needing to hit um, two up three up air CI as, as Peach is not an easy task, actually. Oh, that was so close to being terrible for the third. Yeah, that shine was like basically going to be a fan. Oh, back out? No tag! Oh, 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 I'm hating life right now. Oh, 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 no drill reset. That's what I was expecting. Nice, though. He's going to take it. He's going to take it. At least he finishes the stock up, but he definitely could have done it without taking that 30. Good holding shield. Oh, no. Wow. I hate when that back air works and the up smashes. <laughs> I think that's almost the time that uh, McLeod would do like a forward tilt, hey. Yeah. I'll just like dash attack before he comes back up. Yeah. He went for the dash attack, he got hit. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, 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 no, you're right. Oh. Oh, rising nair beating each nair is uh, really frustrating if you're Peach. That's a good angle, but. Oh my that's god, OD. no OD way. Say that that's his. <laughs> the uh, double jump float to get the firefox. That's so sick, actually. <laughs> Oh, he did it twice. I like using it as a bait, truth be told. Oh, it's so hard to keep track of Musket right now, actually. Alright, things looking up from the cloud right now. Okay, he doesn't... Oh, no. This whole set, Musket has never had to grind out for a stock yet. Like, he's always killing, like... At real nice percents. Yeah, he's so, practiced, right? Yeah. He's actually like. Like, uh, he's, he's finishing his food. That overshot now is everything yeah. right now. Mm, no oh, way he gets yeah. that. Yeah, that, no ma that max that range side beat. Oh, he missed one. I said he wouldn't do it, he did. Alright. Cloud wants to bring this to a second set. He's got to at least tack on another 30 to 40 here right now. Get that fresh, uh, non crouch cancelable stock for the last one in this game. Gonna make it back to stage. That back oh, he doesn't go. get it. Uh -oh. He'd, he'd love. Uh oh. He'd love a down smash right don't, now. But don't stress out too much right now, but just saying. It's, the tournament could be over right now. Oh, that was no, so he's good. Doing it, he's doing it. Bad, using moves that not down, not quite of that back air. Oh, I like the choice not to up air there. Must get grinding it out with the lasers though. Yeah, it's what he needs to do. Oh, great back air. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, no. Oh my god, that's it! That is it! McLeod does it! 
Oh the, my the god. The DI is not good. <laughs> that forward air was insane! But. McLeod shaking the ground beneath Game him. five. Game five. Let's go. More melee. I just want to see more melee, man. <laughs> if there's one thing I love, it's a, it's a good set of melee. Honored to just be here. Ready? Watching these two play. I'll be real. The sentiment in the room is less melee. Yeah, sadly. But... Oh, oh my, my god. god, he actually gets the call out that time. Starting a, starting a new si oh, starting a game with like a real clean start like that. Some good shit. Oh yes. Back air down smash is... It's over, it's over. It feels so cheesy, but it just works. Nah, I'm, I'm joking. Oh, again. Agreed. Two call outs this game with the high side B. Uh, sorry, two high side B call outs. It feels so good when you go for that offstage risk to get the edge guard and it pays off. It's like. I love that. Best feeling. That's refreshed. It's a whole stock up right now. Musket never gives up, but. No. Oh my god, how did he land? Oh, insane space. Oh, insane movement too! Okay, Musket's starting to find his. Uh, footing Not in the neutral now. Up two gets the tray. Oh my! Yeah, overall, Musket's starting to like improve his movement right now, but Perfect. he's getting these trades. I felt like that fair was a little late, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I mean, he didn't get the edge guard. Yeah. Great, now. Yeah. That's it. That's truly it. Yep. I think we might be getting a reset. Oh, you really just waited for him to walk into that ground. He's living. That, that's huge. The pressure's starting to fall apart. On yeah, the right pressure's now. quite slow. And it got himself in the corner. And he's not punishing down smash. That's it's not a good look. Yeah. No tech, no slide off. But... But Miles chance for Musket to like end this in set one. Uh, I'm calling it over. Don't say it's over. Musket's not giving up. He's actually doing like aerial baits. He goes oh straight. No way. No way Musket hits an infinite like that right now. He's still oh living. My God. Musket. Oh my Musket god. has not been hit in a while. Oh my god. I, I mean, like, one Nair is going to do this, but this would be absolutely insane for Musket to get the Oh my. What oh. is this? Ooh, what he's is got no jump. Oh yeah. my god. He went for everything with that shine, but McLeod's going to take it to a second set. Holy <laughs> shit. I'm so surprised that air dodge came out in time. I'm going to keep it real, guys. I'm um, gonna keep it real, and we got a set two. More melee. All right, let's take a breather, guys. Let's take a motherfucking that breather. You know what? You know what it's time for? Oh no, dude! McLeod's going to the bathroom. So McLeod's hitting the bathroom. You know what that means? It's time for an ad break. Thank you for supporting the channel, guys. We're gonna see you on the other side. I hate bathroom breaks, man. I'm just going to quickly adjust the camera. For everyone who has an adblock on, what's up? Please subscribe. When I went to Japan, I played Shippu and I... And I beat... And I won the first game. And... And like, no one really knew who I was, so... Everyone was like, oh wow, who's this guy? And then he goes to the bathroom for 10 minutes, and then I lose 2-0. It's not good. Peach Samus are a slug, slug of the set as well, so uh, you definitely didn't, didn't need that extra time. Holy shit, like... 
10 humans just walked into the shit ton of KFC and... Oh no, not the KFC in Grand Finals of Melee. Yeah, bro. That's now, so now, now all the Melee people who are smelling it while watching are just like, for fuck's sake, yeah. <laughs> I just want food. Yeah, I just don't, like, eat on tournament days. No, no, me neither. I had... What do you, you have for breakfast? I've literally had nothing all day. But <laughs> no. I had I had a porto at 2.30 a.m. last night. That's not enough. That's I'm not feeling enough. okay. So, for breakfast I had, like, a little bit of Miley cereal. And then, like, nothing till I got here. I had, like, a banana on my way into city. I had, like, a little bit of, like... Pistachio cranberry cup pasta thing I guess. And I have an apple. That's I dope. That's it. dope. I wish I had eaten that. Alright, he's back. He's back everyone. So anyway, we've got set two coming up now. Yeah, usually I'm a big porridge fan, but Ooh, that sounds good. I just like I went out last night and then like I had to wake up for my eleven AM shift today. And then I just went from work straight to here. Bad for uh, like Sunday, bro. Yeah. Real. Work was getting, work was getting so fucked, and <laughs> I just I was like, no, I'm, I gotta go, man. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sorry, guys. You rushed yeah. me on till this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have to be here anymore. I even double checked. I messaged my manager and say I have to leave by this time, and he's like, that's all good, bro. Yeah. But. All right, we've swapped positions now. Now the musket's been sent to the loose bracket. Is it, surely, is this another? No. Oh, he no, lost. Real. He died. This is literally real, guys. This is the reset. Musket's in losers, and he's already lost the stock. I can't believe this is how we start the second set. Shoot! That's a huge power shoot. Left him without a jump. Maybe he did jump, I can't remember. Oh, as if he didn't wall jump. I guess I guess he's just down to his socks and he didn't have I saw it. Musket actually starting to move though. He's starting to warm up now that he's been iced out by starting the Starting combos is what I'm seeing. Sadly, yes. Is he This is not how you want to start a second set if you must get it. Dude, just the page icing out like a fox. Insane. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> it's like, damn, where did my technical ability go? To be fair though, McLeod is pretty pretty technical for a page. Compared to someone say like Kathleen. So Sark, what happened? Uh, Musket had like a 4% SD on the first stock and it's been downhill ever since. Great, great edge work. That was nice. 1-0. Stadium, though. This is where Musket's gonna actually like play on the plateau. I'm, I'm gonna call it. No punish, misses it. Wait, accidentally getting a spot dodge. Yeah, McLeod rolls away heaps now, actually. Like, he'll wait for you to like uh, be looking for the wake up reaction and then it will roll away. So, Musket's gotta find the chance to like overshoot. Yeah, tech rolls when you're like knocked down like that. It'd be pretty hard to react to. I mean, they got like five less frames to react to, to them than the regular tech rolls. Oh, yeah, yeah, boy! The double jump cancel. Oh, no. It's alright, it's alright. That's not that bad to lose that, but you know, it hurts. <laughs> we haven't seen a musket area like that in a while, but he took 49 for it. He's missing his wave shards, and that's what's costing him. Here we go, though. Oh, oh let's fucking go. 
Oh, my God. Good to eye on that off, too. Damn, Musket's clean on that, I gotta say. Yeah. Good tech, by the way. That could have been, like, a Salty Nair in Top Smash. Oh, good overshoot back air. Only lands the soft hit, though. Nice. Oh, that's it! That's it! Let's get a head now. Look at the float out of hit stun for a fair. It was a bit too slow. Oh, he's just not hit that. So he's done that twice. Oh, no. This game, and that's how he lost the first stun. Um, so surely he's, like, accidentally pressing Z. Because he's going to, like, do down wave, uh, down ledge dash, and then he's hitting Z, like, when he hits the, um, the trigger. Because yeah. I know that's what I do. Yeah, probably. And I get back air, because I press away half the time. Oh my god, that power shift from us is great, though. Oh, really? He really just died yeah, to yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. 37% so big for the cloud though. Yeah, we actually have a match on our hands though. Must get protecting himself so well with the shield up until just now. Oh, this could be big. No jump. Oh, he messes it I'm, up. I'm happy that he went for the win though. Yeah, yeah, yeah true that. Yeah, it's it. Damn. Actually, he might have been able to get that with a better angle, but... We've been real hard. I feel like that's the only angle he could have gone for, really. I feel like he could have gone for like a slightly tighter one down. Yeah. And maybe. Good for a, good for a, gone for a Kazmo, Kazmo angle. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want more of from Musky. That's it. Oh! Uh, that's 2 thank 0 you, now, isn't you, it? You, yeah. yeah. The prophecy that people have been foretelling in chat might come true. What is it? Cloud reset into 3-0 reset. Yeah, McLeod reset grant, uh, set one into 3-0 to win the tournament. What's that I being Oh my god. That almost that attacked me. That was almost attack. That's how I beat Musket last tournament. Game five into the um, 3-0. The curse. Yes. The curse of uh I know, like, just when someone goes in on you, like, what do you do, you know? Yeah. Dash tech, good. I'm not running it out, Sog. No, dude. Nice. It's a bad jump. Oh, that was so close to being down smash. All right, Musket actually taking his time to approach now. Back is paying off, actually. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Muscat. We got a fucking match. Yeah, good percent to kill out. I just, I just want to like actually just see one more game, and then what happens after that? Like, I'm fine. But like, I don't want Musket to go home with a 3 on Grants. Oh, sick angle! Oh my god. Oh, okay. Yeah, he got edge. That pesky peach. Ledge attack. Oh, no. Another sick angle! That hitbox was huge. Yeah, shout out to Firefox. That was. Musket's actually playing way better. This is high level gameplay. Yeah, what am I watching? I'm literally watching this happen in Adelaide. What? Like, look! These guys are actually. What? He must have. Uh, Baits the out the jabs? Yeah. I can't speak. I'm just watching this occur. Yeah. I just want to. I just want to like. One, yeah. I don't want to put him off, but like, yeah. man, I'm just really entertained, and I'm just taking it all in. Uh -oh, we've got the uh, turn around to shine. Musket taking his time. No, uh, he's in the corner. I hope Musket just like. Center stage camps and it doesn't get reversed like that, yeah. Wow, he's living though. <laughs> Sick DI, but um, it's literally last dog now. <laughs> nah, 
Um, needed a little more, but that's good damage. Good damage. Oh, oh that's it. Musket brings it to game four. Two yeah. to one. Yeah. Prophecy, prophecies don't exist, man. They don't. But, but I'm just saying. It was on track. It was on track. So FD is the pick from the cloud. It's gone the white peach. No, I think it. I think it's coconut water. It's definitely coconut water. But in a carton. That'd be. God <laughs> that'd be borderline like I might do that for a joke. <laughs> just milk. <laughs> You're just like, yeah. I'm, no, I'm not, not even in a carton, in a, in like a glass cork bottle of milk. <laughs> and then a large glass, and then I pour it into a smaller glass between games. I was going to suggest like milk in a bag. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's like, what's in the sack, bro? It's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just brewing some powdered milk in here, so. <laughs> powdered milk? Do not recommend. It's big looking good from the cloud. Though. You're not going to save... It's not worth the money save for the powdered milk. Yeah, no. Nice. nice. Damn, that sucks from McLeod that he didn't get any tech there. But... Still pretty close. Cloud just forcing Musket into the corner. It's fighting back though. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. You want an oh. FD last set. Oh my god, great, that was great, so CC. good. I've never seen like CC into full hop drill like that. It was really good. Musket's finding his way he went in. Peach went so far, like so far up from that net. Honestly, God, this is like the hypest grand finals I've seen in SA for a long time. Involving musket. Yeah. Involving musket, which is most of the fun. What's that DI? He's living though. It's actually been a. Oh. No angle either. I mean, I respect what, what's his go, What's he gotta do, man? He's gotta get a wave shine now. If he gets right. a drill into wave shine, he Fair can get a kill. Fair knocks down at zero. Oh, that's Ooh. it. This is literally he, he just caught him acting out of shield. This is close. Insane. He's playing so good on this FD pick. Oh my, oh, oh my god. Oh, and he shields. Good take away. What? Oh my. Oh, and he missed the down smit. Okay, he doesn't get the shine out. Careful. Yeah, go to, go, to, go to center stage. Is he going to dash weak dash attack or is he going to nair? This is everything right now. This could be the set. He's going to oh, do he, the forward throw. He died. He didn't get good DI. Oh, and that's it. McLeod does it. <laughs> Guys, insane set. That was amazing. Oh my lord. Great job, guys. What a set. What a set. That was awesome. I that think. was awesome, guys. All right. Well, that was a slow pop dude. off. Congrats. Talk to Jack about your payouts. And um, definitely, I need to check that the reporting's going fine, but it should be fine. Anyway, thank you all for watching, by the way. It was lovely to have you all. Um, yeah, we, we do these tournaments here at the uni once a month um usually the third it, usually like the second sunday of the month but we had the lockdown earlier this uh this time around but that's a big win for mcleod do you want to say anything to your adoring fans come over here come here buddy well done <sighs> good day for you <laughs> good day yeah. for you mate Great yeah job. I'm still losing sets though. I'm not happy. <laughs> I'll be honest. Come on. But that's alright. He he fell off a cliff in the second set. He played really well um, in our winner set. But True. Oh uh, well. Well, I had more endurance, so I won. That's all good. <laughs> I just like bumped. Oh, I don't know. Muscat's really good. He is. So <laughs> I it like. It was really good. It was a good set. I'm not happy with a lot of the things that happened, but it's a tournament.
Uh, makes, that makes two of us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think it makes everyone in the tournament. I think that's a common experience in tournament. Should we right? Till next time. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was I was excited, and then he played like garbage, and I was like, oh, I was whatever. <laughs> I guess I won. <laughs> that's you pretty did. much. You did. Look, you actually <laughs> like you were. Nah, I like, Musket had a lot of moments where like it really he really started to pop off, but like. Yeah, I, I, I'm really happy. I stayed collected the whole time. I think that, that was the best my mental has been ever in tournament. I was just like, I was literally, every, every time something just like not related to the game, I was just like, fuck off. <laughs> I was just like, wait till after the fucking sets, and then we can think about stuff not in the game. Mm. But we, yeah, he, he hit some shit, and I hit some stuff. So I, I, like, I feel like that was a really spaghetti set of Muscat and mine, which says a, a lot bit, to yeah. how, like, but, like that was not, I, I bet I'm going to look back and I'm like, that's fine. So it's like I think that says a lot to how much we've been playing each other and how much better we've got. That's true, actually. So that's a good way to put it. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. What was there anything that you'd kind of been doing uh, before the tournament that um, that you wanted like going in to pay off? Like uh, it was uh, the uh, my main focus the last few weeks were SDI and mm -hmm. defense. Just not actually my rec I was really really happy with my recovery today. Um, it was just something I've been working on, just taking out the little lazy parts of my defense. Like, just the little things that caught the double jump. They're just, like, spam it, like, get up attack. Just, like, slow, lazy options off the edge. Like, not resetting or, like, resetting too much. That sort of stuff where I'm just, like, I'm I'm it, trying to take out all the parts of my game plan where I'm, like, I hope this works. Not, I'm doing this because I expect him to do this. Sort wow. Of thing. Yeah. That's amazing, actually. That's so, how, Hearing you talk about that is really cool because it's, like... You've yeah. taken a very <laughs> intentional approach to your improvement. Yeah. So uh, that's awesome. We're trying. <laughs> that's all, no, that's awesome, dude. That's awesome. But, you uh, pat yourself on the back. You won today. Yeah, I know. I'm, you I, literally I am happy. Uh, lot, Good yeah. shit, dude. Well, uh, it's, uh, Ruben's getting a ton better, too, so we'll see. I don't think... I think yeah. The whole crowd is getting better. Yep, sure. All right, well, thanks, gang. Had you want fun. a headset, dude? Yeah, I know. I was like, what the shout fuck? I think last guy told me. She, st shout out to Astro. Cheers, guys. Nice. All right. Thanks for coming on, McLeod. Um, and congratulations. That was awesome. Um, so they're going to get a top three picture going. Um, but I think I'm good to sign off, though, everyone.